well. Hello, chat. Good to see you all here for Robin Hood Sherwood Builders. I played this game uh, as quickly as I could last night and found out it's quite interesting and much different than what the trailer uh, on Steam shows. The trailer of this game makes it look like one of those scam mobile games that'll never come out. But the gameplay here actually looks good. And I'm hoping for a lot on this one. I don't know uh, much about the game other than just playing it for a little while, so I hope to do much more. Very good. All right. I'm going to go ahead and send out a notice on the Discord and everywhere else that we're live just so more people can tune in to bypass YouTube's uh, system. All right, let's do it. There we go. Perfect. All right, welcome to all the new members too. Jason, thanks for being here. JD White and Wonderful becoming uh, members uh, before this stream as well. So welcome to all of you. Thank you very much for tuning in and hanging out with me as we uh, just get a few things ready. I only had like 10 minutes between my last stream and this one to uh, just eat, quickly eat and do a few things. So thanks again for uh, support. All right, let's see. Bum, bum, bum. Ooh, appropriate music, that's for sure. <laughs> You're ready with coffee? Good. Very good. All right, one last notice to send and we will begin. Thanks for your patience, everybody. Appreciate it. There we go. All right, let's jump into Robin Hood Sherwood Builders. This game is in a playtest on Steam, so essentially like a uh, what I would have believed to be a demo. Uh, you'll have to request access to it. So, uh, like, if I send you to the store page, you can only pre-order it. But the playtest is a little different, so just type in Robin Hood. You should be able to find it. And uh, good times. Bomb up. You want to wish me some vacation in between all this streaming for... Bro. Well, that was weird. We are in hardcore gaming season right now. Bum, bum. So it shall only get more crazier. Until the end of the year, at least. All right, y'all ready? Cool. Good music. Is that Mongolian throat music that I hear? Seems a little weird. Ah yes, a lot of people joining. Don't forget to uh, smash join. Don't forget to smash like. Welcome aboard. We're going to be chopping down a lot of trees, too, so make sure you grab your axes, members. Hey, chat. Look what I got. Oh, yeah. Yep, that's right. All right, good. Just giving everything a test. All right, Robin Hood Sherwood Builders. Welcome, everybody, to Amazon Employee Simulator. Let's go. Start ourselves a new game and see how it goes. Let's begin. Oh, you're looking to join. Ah. Black Henry's ruthlessness knows no end 
the former commander of the armies of the fallen King Richard the Lionheart, now sheds blood in the name of paying taxes owed to King John. The stigma of suffering hangs over an oppressed people. The evil and destruction sown by Henry is compounded by the rule of the murderous Sheriff of Nottingham. Together they plan another plot to end the life of the last of the Loxley family, Robin. Dude, that is a badass intro that, like, seamlessly brings you into the game. That's so solid, dude. It's really good. Really good indeed. Ah. All right, welcome, everybody. Good to see you all here. Oh, is that is that where Chad is down there? Oh, yeah, you're all, yep, yeah, you're all down there. Hanging out in the village, I can see. Very good. Very good indeed. All right. Reunion. Talk to Tuck. Let's go uh, chat with our friend. Ooh, it looks really good, doesn't it? Wow. Yeah, it looks really nice. I like the look of the buildings and such. That's for sure. And look at how everybody walks, too. They walk like they're about to get into a fight at a bar. That's it. I'm going right straight down to Comcast and canceling my service right away. <laughs> well, let's look around before we begin. Grab some supplies before we start. Okay, so this is our village storage where we're going to bring all the stuff that we rob. And uh, check this out, too. We got our journal with all of our quests, but then we have a big O tech tree, which is really nice. So, uh,. Via some previous experience, I'm going to take these first two for our first quest, which is uh, higher weight carry capacity and also uh, higher damage when doing some wood cutting. Good. But you can also see our uh, character level two on the right side. We've got our maximum health, regeneration, hunger, that type of thing. So as we level up our character too, we should be able to increase like our stamina and hunger resistance, that type of thing. And look at that map, baby. We're in uh, Silwich right now. I, I wish we were in Sandwich instead, like I mentioned before. There's a giant castle down there that we got to take over at some point. I don't know if the map will get bigger than this. It is it is actually quite a pretty big map if you think about it. I don't think we're going to be on horseback until a little later. But this is just a playtest too, so it is possible that this map could get even bigger. Although it does take a while to walk to the destinations around. Bum, 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 bum. Let's go to all of our neighbors' houses and stuff. Interestingly enough, we can, like, steal from our camp to give back to our camp. Kind of a weird thing, but there's, like, boxes around with stuff in it. Like, here there's wine and bread. Like, okay. <laughs> and we can put that in the town storage, so we're literally stealing from the town to give to the town. It makes sense if you don't think about it at all. Oh, look at the bridges and stuff. It's so pretty. That's nice. Alright, we got lots to do and lots of time to look around, so... We're also supposed to be a hero, so probably not a good idea to steal from everybody. But, here's Tuck. So let's chat with him first. Talk to Brother Tuck. What a sight for sore eyes. Praised be the day, for our good friend Robin is finally back. And just as I had feared, he looks absolutely horrendous. By Mary, Robin, did you lose a fight to a bear? What trouble did you get into this time? Don't even ask. And it's not like you'd really believe in my misadventures anyway. Well... You are a master of cock and bull stories Whoa. after all. And yet, I do notice you are quite parched and exhausted. Why don't you go and have a snack and rest in your hut for now? This game's first objective is, Hey Raptor, why don't you lay down and eat? They made this game for me. Karen and Son, thanks for becoming a Raptor Egg. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Let's get some axes in chat. Do not fret or worry about anything else at the moment. There is no work that cannot wait until tomorrow dawn. 
Come on, Robin. You are making me worried. Have you forgotten how to rest? Just have a meal, drink up, and take a nap. Okay. Well, let's go over to the uh, the well then. So when we drink a water bottle, we can come back here and like make another like water bottle. Every time we drink, we can just come back to a well and fill up any empty uh, things of water that we have. I'm gonna put one of the bread inside the box for food later for the town. A way to split a stack. Yeah, I'll just eat one and then we'll put the rest in there. All right, let's have some om noms and some drinky drinks. <laughs> How quickly he eats. Ah, here's our. Uh, so this is what makes it a building game, by the way. You can see on the right side of the screen, we've got a fireplace that we can build so we can cook food there. Uh, the furnace so we can smelt ores and the blacksmith which will help us to make and repair tools. Then we can cut down trees and stuff too. Which will give us wood, but we need food in order to do it first. No, nobody can, you know, no, no calories to burn, so. That's cool. Alright, we'll come back here later. Uh, excuse me, sir. That bread back, and oh, we already drank, so let's fill up our water bottle again. Wait, there's a lot of stuff sitting around, isn't there? Empty bottles, more water bottles. Okay, well, we have to be on the lookout for stuff. A few things I missed on the first playthrough. Oh, Steniu, thanks for watching. Good to have you here. Hey, what's up, Snake Gaming? Let's go ahead and fill up our water bottles. Mm, bum, 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 bum. Good, so now we have three. Uh, we have a bottle of red grape wine. In instantly plus 15 health and plus 20 energy, but over time, negative 15 thirst and negative 30 energy. Ah, so it's like a health elixir, but it'll cost us in the end for stamina and stuff. Hello. Oh, the trader. We can buy flour, salt, empty bottles. Oh, okay. So we can buy a bunch of stuff here we might need for the town if we get uh, more coin. Or we can sell stuff. Maybe. Nice. We'll need those stone for later. Ooh, we have a box here. More cheese. Mead and empty bottles. Nice. Monster Man, thanks for the Hundo Norwegian Kroner. Tech, thank you. Thank you very much. We have cheese, empty bottle, and wood. I like how we're, we're stealing from the townsfolk to do this, people. <laughs> and we're stealing from them just to give back to them. Like me going into your wallet and taking out a 20. Hey, dude, do you want 20 bucks? Oh, dude, you're, you're awesome. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Bread and wine is in here, too. And Andrew Markwell is now a Raptor Ultimate member. Wow, thank you very much for that top level of support. Welcome aboard. I guess by gathering all these empty bottles, we're basically like going into dumpsters and taking empty bottles to re return back. We got salt and cheese now, good. Um. Yeah, Raptor Hood. Yeah, that's yeah, that's that's true. Yeah, that's me. Okay, let's go to Oh, we have a stables over here too. We can get horses at some point. Let's check in. Sorry, Robin. But we can't risk leaving until we hear word from the other places that the road is safe. Maybe if you went there and checked it yourself first. Okay, they want us to go and check something. Maybe in the future. So we're supposed to go rest, but we can use this time to kind of like walk around and get a uh, our bearings, I guess. Oh, more bottles here. Yellow potion, green potion, more wine, more mead. We'll put it in the village storage, and then we can use it at any time.
have to carry a little bit of food on us. But we'll worry about that later. Oh, there's stones here. Definitely going to need those. So this is where we're going to build things. This is one of our building areas. There's probably more to build in. Got a pig farm here. Okay, I think we'll look around a little bit more later. Let's go to our house and... Wait, there's like a little pathway here. Oh, that's cool. A lot of nice detail to like walk around things. Right, let's go to our house. Well, you thought this was a city builder? It is. Uh, it's kind of like how Valheim is kind of like a city builder too. Like he here's where we build our buildings from. So on the right side, you can see that we can build a few things. We kind of just went over it, but uh, like we're we're gonna be going out as Robin Hood to gather the materials. So. Like, we're playing as a, kind of like a hero, the protagonist, who's then going to fight against, you know, the Sharon, of, Sher, the Sharon of Nottingham. And we're basically going to bring back all these materials to build our city eventually. So we got a long way to go, but, you know, we're just getting started. Alright, let's go into our house and see what else is in there for us. Ooh, more rocks. Bum, bum. Yes, the Sharon of Nottingham, yes. <laughs> green potion, yellow potion, what do those even do? Let's take a look. Uh, green potion, a mixture of herbs and water believed to help heal wounds faster. Yellow potion, a mixture of herbs and water nourishing and energizing. Ah, okay, so it's uh, instant health and stamina. That'll be good for combat. Stack of coins, we got 30 bucks, nice. Broken pickaxe, dull hatchet, nice. Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> he marks the uh, area for us to sleep. Wood, empty bottles, cheese, nice. I think we can return all those bottles for cash too over time. Go dump off the rest of this stuff. We'll probably keep a little bit of the bread for ourselves. Empty bottles, wood, cheese. We'll have to keep some bread. Potions are a good idea for us to keep. And the stone can stay here. Our current carry capacity is 120. So we'll be alright for a little while. Alright, uh, we'll put these in our hot bar. Later, I guess. Okay. Let's go to bed. Bread. Go to bread. Alright, if we see anything else, guys, let me know. If you see any, like, chests or anything like that that we haven't gone into. Alright, time to sleep. We'll go ahead and call this, uh... Raptoria. Quest! Reunion completed. Alright, now we can go back to Friar Tuck and get our next quest. Uh, this looks nice, too, by the way. I liked how the... how everything looks. It's really nice. Spacious in here. It's like... you know, the... whenever my enemies think about me and let me live rent-free in their minds. It's also very spacious. Those who failed to stop me. Alright, let's go ahead and try to chat with Tuck and fill up some water bottles. And eh, we got three water. That's enough. Hi, Tuck. Ah, the morning breeze sure is wonderful today. And look at yourself, friend. A night's sleep has really done you a favor. Are you fully awake yet, though? I see your trusty bow is missing. My bow? Uh-oh. Is, uh, is Friar Tuck like a fame? Like, is he like the British KFC? Like, was he famous? What, what, what was he a friar of? Like, chicken... Did he do some really good, like, taters or something like that? What, what was he good at? What did he do? Ooh, chat, you're almost to 300 likes. It, Thank you. Tuck. And it hurts me to say that, but I've lost it on my way home. And Lady Marion as well, as I can't seem to find her. Maid Marion? Is that so? In that case, get up 
and work the axe, for you are in need of a new bow. The wood should be good enough for both the stave and the arrows. An effortless task for a man like you, eh? You could probably buy one from a merchant, but since we are in a dire need of a bowman, you can have the bowstring I have been carrying around. And do not worry about our Lady Marion, for she is off to forage for herbs. Ah. Hello, Alex. Welcome. Come back to me after you have finished crafting your new friend, because I have a few ideas for tasks I could assign you to. A friar is a monk? Yeah, but what, what does he use? Like an air fryer or does he use vegetable oil? Like I'd, I'd like to know, you know, a contents list before I make a purchase of, you know, his particular goods. I think there's there's laws against this. Hope you have been maintaining your journal well, Robin. Need anything else? If not, you should better get to work. Come back to me after the bow is ready. Yeah, it's a good observation. Chat saying it's always windy in these games. Yeah, that's true. Like a lot of games, the, the trees will sway quite a bit. Even in like a uh, ranch simulator, that happens. Okay, so somebody said under the bed or uh, the window by the bed. Let's check. Uh, we checked that one and we checked this one. But I didn't think there was any others. Bum, bum. By the way, uh, to Alex or anybody else who joined us for Valheim, there is now a dedicated server with our save on it, so if you'd like to continue playing, feel more than welcome. Alright, our current goal is to gather 15 wood, so let's head outside of town and start chopping down some trees. We have a hatchet and a dull hatchet. Not very effective, but reliable. So it can still cut wood, but it's just, we have to probably Im improve it. Although, look at its durability. It doesn't cut wood very well at plus 6 damage to wood, but has 1500 health. And same with the broken pickaxe, too, that we found. The, go the good axe has 100, the other one has 1500, wow. Alright, so we got our regular hatchet ready. Let's start looking for trees and make our bow. Now we will need wood to gather a bunch of other... We, we have to gather a lot of wood if we're going to build in the town, so we're going to be out here for a while. Chad, do you have any uh, anybody in chat can help? Anyone have an axe in chat? Briar Tuck was actually a beekeeper. Wow. All right, we're here to gather some wood. So we're supposed to uh, also craft a bow and some arrows, but I'm just going to cut down every tree I see for a while. If we're going to build anything in this town. We're going to need a lot of wood. Chop, chop, chat. Playing Valheim again? Yeah, this is the... Uh, this is the um, Graphical mod for Valheim. Welcome, guys, to Valheim. <laughs> the uh, Hearth and Sherwood home update. At least the ga this game is generous about the wood they give you. Like Valheim, it's like, oh, you cut down a whole tree? 10 wood. 20 if you're lucky. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, we're doing what you do in every survival city builder, cutting down a bunch of trees. It's just the tutorial, though, so it's getting us used to like what it's like to gather materials and whatnot. Yeah, this hatchet can be used as a weapon, too, but I don't, there's actually not like a block, so it's like... The block would just be like stepping back. Well, we're going to craft our legendary bow. Robin is making his legendary bow. I think Robin Hood's actual name was uh, Dave, but people thought that kind of sounded bad. Not not good for stories, so they, they just changed it to Robin. Originally it was Batman, but they they thought that was copyright. D Disney threatened to sue, even though he wasn't born yet. 
Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, he's gonna be robbing everybody else. That's true. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, now after this... Oh, this... By the way, by playing this already makes me want to go to a Renaissance Festival. I want to bring Alex to a Renaissance Festival. And then feed him, uh... Big O turkey legs. And then talk to him in Old English. You been to some already? Now with me you haven't. We're gonna go. Alright, what do we got for wood so far? Let's see, we've got 37... Oh, nope. Uh, 50 plus 37. We'll go at 100 then. Kind of hard to see the objects in this game. It'd be nice if they kind of like made a big yellow arrow pointing down or something just to make it easier to see. This game looks lush though. Like there is a hey, look. There's a lot of wild. Like it sounds like wildlife everywhere. And like the it's nice. You can move through the bushes and they move with you. It's cool. Do they have mead? Apparently so. We found that. We also found uh, wine and some other stuff too. There's a bunch of uh, villages in France you can visit. Like it, it's like medieval time, like Paris. Is that one of them? I hear it's like a small town. Okay. Yeah, we need uh, we need wood to make our bow, but we also need wood to uh, build our town. So it's like super extra important to gather way more wood than we need. Oh, uh oh, my axe broke. Oh, it's funny. The hatchet is now broken, but we can use the dull hatchet and the broken pickaxe to gather materials. Like, okay. That still works. That's why I put the first perk in extra uh, damage in trees. We might actually have some more skills to spend, so let's take a look. Hell yeah, we do. Actually, not, not at the moment, but uh, we're close. We can definitely work our way down to get higher carry capacity. Wood's not too heavy, though. You guys know how it is. You just walk around with like 100 lumber. Like, oh, what is this, 5 kilos? Barely noticed. I thought I was just wearing an extra shirt. I'm looking great. Damn right. Yes, I am. Will the country roads take me home? Uh, hopefully. That or to, like, the uh, castle, which I'll probably die to death. Okay, let's cut down two more trees. And then, wow, that is pretty. Oh, no. Alex, oh, Alex's story in the chat. Oh, man. You have a 380 now, though. That's good. Or 3080, but yeah, that's great. Now you're ready to play Valheim for real. Uh, by the way, Alex, the last few uh, episodes you were in, people were like, yay, the dynamic duo is back and whatnot, so... They love you, Alex. We're waiting for you to get back in the saddle. Your audience... Like, Alex is really making you guys wait. Like, really. Like, he's making absolutely sure that you guys really like him. French fryer tuck. Yeah, amen, brother. Hello from Austria. Hello, how you doing? Yeah, Alex is a chat. He like moved across the the ocean, but in the same country. He moved as far away as possible but while staying in the same country, just so he could he could stream with you guys on my schedule. Good. Boom, boom. Okay, well that's enough wood for now, I think. Well, this, what? What? Did all those trees just grow back, or what? Wait, what the hell? Oh. <laughs> well, if we need more wood, we know where to find it. So we've got what? Uh, 
Yeah, about 158 wood. That's that's good. That that's fine. Let's go back to uh, French fry tuck. Oh my god, that, so pretty. So pretty. Hello from Poland. Hello. How are you? Uh, let's go. Wait. Oh, we've been here before. But not to this one. I missed one literally right there. Oh, you can even pick up the apples. Cool. We're going to need a lot of food. Yeah, Alex is making himself desired. Yeah. I'm, I'm live every day. Alex is like... My aura is not feeling it today. My chi is off slightly. It's, I had a bad omen, a bad dream. Six months off. All right, salt, flour, rotten apple. What? That looks just fine. It should better be left untouched. Well, let's put that in village storage. Uh, let's keep some cheese and apple on us. Oh, I need to keep some wood, though, to make my bow, so let's do that. Are there tights in this game? Uh, there are men in tights, yes. Robin Hood men in tights, yes. Okay, let's craft a bow. Short bow, useful for both fighting foes and hunting game. Alright, let's make uh, a bow. Oh, we can make another hatchet. Uh, five wood and three stone, but we'll hold off. Let's make 60 arrows. We are Robin Hood after all. Bum, bum. We are in Sherwood Forest. Hunter's best friend completed. Speaking of where we are, we're in Sherwood Forest right now. But chat, where are you from? Curious to know where everybody is. And smash like if you're watching live right now, too. If, you're, if you didn't miss the live stream and you're here live, give your, give your future self a shout out and uh, let us know where you're watching from. Okay, I think we'll keep our broken hatchet here. We put a lot of wood in storage. That's awesome. And we got a lot of good food to go, too. Denmark, Netherlands, Toronto, Greece, the UK. Very nice. Oman, awesome. Bum, 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 bum. Am I wearing tights? It's required. Listen, ladies, okay? If you want any of that, Discord links in the description, okay? Exclamation point uh, Instagram, all right? Maybe follow on Twitter, too. Some, some, uh, some Discord action. Go in the members section. Come say hi. Pretty tight in there, if that's what you're interested in. A lot of cool people there. Hi, Brother Tuck. How you doing? People are watching from Seattle, Florida. Nice. Nice. Would you look at that? I would say that bow seems prettier than your old one. <laughs> no offense to your old companion, of course. I think he's talking about Bradford versus Alex, I think. I think that's what he's talking about. None taken. I can't say how comfortable it feels to have one on me again. God has been kind to you, Robin, so why not repay him with some good deeds for the community? Silwich could use your help. You see, dear Robin, hunting without a skilled bowman left us short on meat. Would I be meat. wrong to assume that taking on some deer should not be too much of a challenge for you today? Uh, sure, bro. In case you get lost in the woods again, Though help me, mead and heavens, if you do. You can use the help of the map to find the hunting spot. I believe it is visibly marked. Indeed it is. All right, let's go hunting. Pinto bless for a good hunt. Whoa, durability is a million? Sweet. So it's safe to say at least the uh, bow and arrow won't break. All right, let's go hunting. We're going to go get some veal. Oh, there's some. Maybe. Those are some awfully little cows. Yeah, we got to watch out for Sharon from Nottingham. Oh, hello.
Hmm. Nothing there. You're watching Gas Station Simulator and subscribe. Seems like a great community. Well, welcome, Laura. Thanks for subbing. Welcome aboard. All right, we're going to go out and get a lot of deer. One thing that's good in this game is if you hold F, you got like a little focus mode. And I, I find it actually seems a little harder to shoot with the focus mode because... Like your arrow, I think, still moves slowly. So you got to like... I don't know. We'll see. I'm either a really good... I either make amazing shots or I miss at like the easiest shots ever. Pretty out here though. It looks like there's a few hunting spots down the pathway. Uh, who chats with uh, cap locks on there, Gert? Are there lures in this game? Yeah. I lure your finger right over to that join button. Damn, we're really in it now. Look at these trees. Are these giant redwoods? Holy crap. Oh wait, we're on the, uh, yeah, we're on the, uh, the forest moon now. It looks like the deer are over this way. We'll keep going until we see some deer. There they go. No way they heard or saw me, though. Alec, welcome aboard as a raptor egg. Thank you. You love the way I trigger people with veal? Yeah. It'll continue to be a thing. That way we know who's new here. Okay, where are we now? Okay, so they're hunting ground... Are there... Deer are actually on this side of the river. They come down here for water, obviously. his ass. First try, boys. Meat. Plus five. First try, chat. First try. <laughs> right. Victor Kim with the 20. Enjoyed the last video from this game. Well, thanks for watching, dude. Thank you very much. Oh, we got a long way to go. They seem to come down by this water a lot for the for drinking. Yeah, I don't I don't like that uh, slow mo mode. Works for guns, but arrows it's hard to lead the shot. 
Trey Jones, thanks for becoming a little raptor. Appreciate that. Welcome aboard. <laughs> Got him. The only problem with this game is I haven't found a way that when you draw the bow, there's no way to, like, you have to shoot. And you can't reclaim it, so it's a little annoying. Is that a deer? No way. Wow. Now you can't cancel the draw, but again, play test. Good thing for feedback. Super sweet screenshot, though. Now let's go get that meat. There it is. Really hard to see this, too. Like, they made the green, the marker green to where meats and stuff are, and it's like, um... We're literally in a green forest, dude. Actually, 25 meat now, so yeah, we'll let him go. All right, uh, let's see. Let's go to what's this? Chap Chaffinch's nest. Let's go wander around the forest and look at stuff now. Good hunting. Now it's good hunting. Switch weapons to cancel. Yeah, that doesn't work. Once you draw your bow, you're not able to to switch weapons. At least I can't. I've tried. There seems to be a point of interest up here. Oh wait, let's uh looks like there's a save point over here. A resting area. Let's go find that. Bum ba bum bum. Ah, oh, so we can make food here. Well, let's have a little drink and, and water after that. Good adventure so far. So if you're wondering where a resting spot is, you can always listen for the the night chicken. I think it's the word for that. Alright, let's save again. Okay, let's go up here.
Holy crap. How many? Okay. Hey man, your friend took like 1600 hits. The hell? Can't really run with a bow either, it slows you down. Hey, sir, I think you were a little too far away to hit me, but alright. Did you drop anything? Oh, I need to aim for their knees because perhaps they're adventurers. Oh, yeah. Good point. Where the hell were we? Did I shot that guy in the head 46 times, man. Bro, could you die? Oh, thank God. Okay. All right. Wow, 17,000 shots, man. Water bottle, cheese, bread, chicken, pig. Yeah, we'll haul this back to base. Let's go check and see what's upstairs. There was a chest? Okay. Uh, we got arrows. Oops. Damn, deer, like, everywhere. I, th I thought those were enemies. Anyway, um... Oh. Loot bag there. Oh, we can't climb, though. Alright, where were we? Chat saw a chest. I keep thinking those are damn enemies. Yeah, we got some coins, nice. Yeah, we got so much stuff we can't carry at all. Let's have uh, one of the bread. Oh, we can store things in the hot bar, perfect. Is that coin? Yep, cool. Uh, we can craft cooked meat, but we're supposed to bring back just meat to Friar Tuck, so we'll just we'll just leave it as is. Alright, where did that one deer go I killed? There it is. Probably good to have way more food than we need. And I can't because we're <laughs> I think we're full. Um empty bottles stack to eight. Okay, cool. We can keep stacking the empty bottles. So that probably means we can stack bread, we can stack the cheese, Alex's breathing intensifies. Okay, meat only stacks to 25. Damn, the deer are really plentiful here. Alright, if you're going to do some hunting, just come here to uh, Chaffinch's nest and just like hang out. Like the... It's like apparently a very busy uh, deer intersection. <laughs> very busy. Okay, uh, we can go back to Friar Tuck. Let's do that. You're waiting for the Ewoks to jump out of a bush? Yeah. Well, apparently we just fought an ATAT -AT because that guy up in the tree was about the height of one and apparently wouldn't die.
Cool how there's like little ambush points, so we're gonna have to check the map on occasion. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, we can move all of our tools to the hotbar. That's true. Actually, can we do that with everything? Yes, chat. Always have chicken in your hot bar. Well, with that being the case, we can, uh... Well, we'll go back to camp. Regardless. We're gonna drop all this stuff off, so let's just go back to camp. And we'll, 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 we'll go out on another adventure soon. It looks like Valheim, but with more pixels. That's a little different. I don't. I don't think we can. Uh, I don't think we can make a uh, a boat in this one. Your hot bar is now a hot buffet. Yes, true. Ew! I don't want to get my tootsies wet. Yeah, okay, that was close. Okay. Tasty treats. Gather meat in the storage of 25. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. We did it, chat. Okay, let's do... Well, we can drop off iron ore, salt, flour, raw meat, 25. Oh, boy. The village storage is out of space. Um... Dump the rest of the wood on that. Then I can craft the rest into arrows. And I can probably cook some of the meat for myself somewhere. We could probably keep the wine, you know, just in case. You know, reasons. Actually, th this apple's rotten. Is I, I should just throw that out. Okay, we have more wine. Wine stacks to four. Chicken. I'm keeping the chicken for me. Don't blame me, chat. All right, you guys know the 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 nug love is too just like the thug life. The nug love is just it's, it's too real. Okay, let's grab some water while we're here. Looks like we're hungry again anyway, so let's eat. Grab that chicken, y'all. Chicken. Oh, yeah. Wow, that barely filled me up. Ah, that's true. Is there a way to, like, throw away the apple? Oh, item drop. There we go. Okay. Oh, boy. Bum, 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 bum. Should you sleep occasionally to save the game? Yeah, that's a good idea. We'll be doing that before we uh, head out again. Well, at least you can easily make arrows in this game. All right, I think we should fill all these up with water. We'll stay hydrated. Food is easy to find, but water seems to only be when we come back to camp. Maybe I can fill the water bottles and sell them to the salesman. Hi, my name is Evian. Uh, Evian of uh, Sherwood Forest. Me and my son Dasani, uh, we were out in the forest and, uh, well, we found this elixir. Anyway, I'm going to need to charge you a $400 markup for tap water. Uh, Angelique, thanks for becoming a raptor egg. Welcome aboard. Actually, speaking of which, is there anything you need? Um, bro, how much for water bottle? Oh, he's not interested in any of this stuff. Wait, what can we, oh, we can, we can buy or sell the things on the list, okay. Oh, damn, he will take empty, oh, only 10 coins, though. That's actually not that bad. But I would rather have water for myself. You down, <laughs> you pause the stream in order to download it, and then you're now watching me again. Oh, that's good, welcome. 
Good to see you. Oh yeah, that's true. If we're gonna make Dasan Dasani, then we just gotta combine these two together. That that will make them consume more and increase our profits. It must be more. Come on, Dasani, don't you have enough money? No! Oh, silence. Well, looks like we can't store anything else. Do I I don't do I have like a private storage at home? I guess I could put stuff here. Oh yeah, okay, so we can put stuff back in here, alright. Now, the other question is, how do we split a stack? Oh, you, you can hold control to split one at a time. Oh, we'll take five. I'll keep the elixirs and the wine just in case, chat, okay? Don't judge. Alright, so we're going to check village storage again. Alright, so we'll take a... We'll, uh... Actually, no, we need we need wood in the village storage if we're going to build anything. But I'll, I'll just put it in here later. So we'll just keep this for food for now. And apparently we have ten empty bottles. So we can get like a hundred bucks if we want to from that dude. But let's just take everything that's not food out of there. Because I don't even think mead counts as a food, so... We'll leave the raw meat in there. We'll t put all this stuff in our storage. Bum, 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 bum. You need two bottles of wine from Friar Tuck Stash? Bro, he's like... I think he's slipping... Uh, I think he's slipping alcohol to college students. Which isn't a law at the time, I'm sure. Though he's technically not wrong. Okay. Wood, stone, empty bottles. Hatchet. Wine for personal and religious reasons. Can't judge. And actually, I'll take this wood with so we can make more uh, arrows out in the field. Yes, I know that we need all that stuff in the storage so we can build, but I'm just going to put it in my personal storage for now. But I, it, it does need to be... It, if you want to build anything, it has to be in the village storage, and then you come here to build. But that I know. Thank you. I see you are back alive and well. Hopefully, you are bringing good news along with you. Were you able to hunt down some deer? Yes, I do have good news, Friar Tuck. Did you know that you can click or tap join and become a member today to unlock a giveaway and get access to so many more perks and such in our Discord with the big blue button next to the subscribe button? Whoa! You don't have to be a friar to know that. Pinto bless. Yes. It's almost like you're forgetting who you're talking to, Brother Tuck. Here it is. And it's still warm to the touch. I only hope it's enough for the community. By the grace, yes. And now that our people will not have to worry about food, they can finally get to work properly. Hmm. And that means you need not rest for too long now. If we want to be effective, we, and by that I mean you, need to gather more resources for the village's expansion as soon as possible. Well, what appears if the emote himself is in chat? Would you look at that? Sounds like another invigorating task. What would you like me to fetch? Uh, why is he completely bald? Uh, genetics. Just some rocks for the furnace I have got a blueprint of, my friend. We need something to smelt the iron ore into ingots if we want to have good tools. So be it then. I will be back when I have enough. Okay. Come back when you have all the necessary materials. Remember, your workers cannot work on an empty stomach. Same. All right, gather wood, stone, and food and storage. And in our inventory is only three. Okay, I'm going to check and see how much stone we actually had. I'm going to go out anyway and go mining. We have 34 stone, so we'll, we'll go grab a lot more. Anytime we go to build something, it requires stone and wood anyway, so you're always going to be wanting to gather that. Okay, we'll head to... This is a quarry outside of town, so we're going to head there. Welcome back, Pinto. I hope everything's well with you. We've all missed you. Your payment's late, by the way, on your, rent, your uh, monthly rental for the emote. Thanks. Appreciate it. 
Is he a farm fresh fryer? Yeah, I think it's uh, farm to table fresh, yeah. You know, honestly, with, with a time with no refrigeration or anything like that, uh, I would assume food was probably more fresh than it's ever been in this game. Shouldn't he have given me another pickaxe? Wait a minute. Yeah, whatever. I think he was supposed to give me another uh, a pickaxe. Oh, the mine is over here. Whenever Pinto feels bad, he comes on here and puts his emote in chat just to remind himself that we love him, which is good. He's a good kid. All right, we should actually have three pick pickaxes. We found one in our house. Friar Tuck should give us one to do mining, and then we find one here. Pretty sure. Okay. Well, we have some more loot here. Empty bottles, meat, and cheese. Man, there is cheese everywhere. Oh, he gives you one after. Oh, okay. Okay. We have two broken pickaxes. And we should have some more skill points to spend, so we'll put that into mining now. Wow, look at that. So we have ten skill points now. Holy crap. Uh, let's see. Let's do mining damage plus seven. And we'll work our way down to more storage capacity and stuff. Thirst tolerance, 0.01%. Awesome. Sharp hatchet. And mining damage. Let's go down here. Stamina regen, 0 0.01. 0 0.10, sorry. Is this 0.1, though? Come on. Uh, let's see. Max health, plus 30. Yeah, let's do that. Do two of those. Pain resistant damage reduction. Wow. There's some for our bow and arrow too, like bow damage plus seven. I think I'm going to go with defense first, just because I don't want to die to death. We have two points to spend. We'll go down that way. There we go. Good. Good. Well, let's beat the crap out of these rocks. You'll know you're done mining a rock when it stops, uh... It'll make a noise, and it'll, it'll give you, like, a hit marker, like you're doing damage like that, but there won't be any numbers popping up. So that's how you know. Chat, thank you very much for 500 likes. Pinto is the second best gamer on YouTube. Yeah, he's a good kid. He's got to keep going, but he... He gave up gaming for, like, love and happiness. Oh, well, at least we still have Bradford and Alex. You're not sure you've heard Pinto's voice? Uh, if you, if we get to 600 likes, I'll trick Pinto into coming on to the team speak, and you can you can ask him chat. You can ask him three questions. I'll get him onto the team speak for like five minutes. You guys can ask him. Ask of thee questions three. Okay. Oh, read books. Things are going good. We're just doing some mining now for our, uh, our little village of Sherwood. I feel like these stones go everywhere and they're hard to find if you lose them. Yeah, we're gonna leave. We're gonna definitely leave this place with. Leaving stuff behind. Oh, 
Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> One question, bro, dude, what happened? You've changed. Pinto's definitely changed. He's a good dude, though. Good friend. You know, it's one of those friendships where he can disappear for six months and we'll pick up as if nothing happened. Except for, you know, he's changed. He's not here anymore. He went off to do other stuff. <laughs> he's not here. Okay, let's see. We are at uh, 45... Oh, wait, we're at 45 iron ore and 50... Oh, no, 100 and 108 stone. Nice. We still got carry capacity, though, so we're going to stay out here. So is building the village the main goal? Well, for now. Um, but I'm assuming that the main goal will be to defeat the uh, whoever's at the castle over here. Could be possibly uh, Princess Peach or uh, Cinderella. I'm not exactly sure who owns the right to a, a folklore or whatnot. But, or possibly a real dude. I don't know. Seems like every time we break a rock, it drops iron ore and stone. Those are dead. Oh. No. You think Pinto's in the castle? Yeah, that is that is one beautiful princess. That is true. Settlers game coming out. Yep, yeah, we're we'll play anything that has to do with uh, well a any game that's similar to to the games shown on the channel before. We will definitely take a look at more of. All right, we're over encumbered now, which means all we can do is walk. But I think we should keep mining for a bit longer. Because remember, chat, what's not yours is mine. Okay, wow. Yeah, we're uh, definitely over encumbered now. Let's head back home. It's going to be a long walk, but actually, we're not that far. Bum, 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 bum. Are you sorry about Pinto's in another castle? Oh. Yep, thirst and hunger is in this game. Glad you reminded me. Let's have some cheese. No, let's eat some apples. Apples give us plus 10. Yeah, we got to eat and drink. There we go. I want to save the cheese for the camp. I don't mind living off of scraps. Ooh. An Assassin's Creed with uh, Robin Hood would have been cool. But those games are kind of done now. Actually, it was really fun in Assassin's Creed Valhalla to build a little settlement, a little Viking settlement. That was cool. I didn't mind that game, but it was just like, it just went on for too long. Alright, now we're back to town. Would you believe that? We had a barrel of laughs out there. But now it's time to get back to work. Bum, bum. 
Can you make gear cordon blue? Alex can. Okay, so let's drop off everything that we need. Wait, so he wanted uh, 60 stone, 30 wood. Okay, so we got some of that. We'll just dump all of it in there. Actually, I think we need iron ingots uh, to build, so we got to smelt it first. We'll keep the ore, and we'll go grab the rest of the wood. Harry Potter and the Assassin's Creed Valhalla. It still looks like Harry Potter a little bit. No, it's fire. It's also true, though. Boom. Uh, how do you play games for so long and not have your neck and back hurt? Um, I posture, good quality chair, you know, getting up in between and stuff. Boom. Wait, keep the ore. Yeah, we'll keep those for arrows. I think we need eight. Wow, look at that. So we got, what, 205 plus 150 plus the meat and all the other stuff. Okay, cool. Bum, bum. Okay, so now Friar Tuck wants us to build a furnace. We are in the city build territory. All right, let's save before we do anything like that. We're now going to build a city. Chat, your favorite emote is here. Pinto Bless. Wow. I mean, I mean Poglad. Yeah, let's get a Poglad wall. It will anger the Pinto. Pinto, are you going to come over for a million subscribers? It's going to be soon. We'll have to go to a Renaissance Festival again. I think that's soon, too. Or now. Alright, let's build ourselves the, uh, the thingy here. A village to build. The village needs expansion and the builder is a tool to help it grow. First, you'll need to clear the terrain before construction. Click on any trees you'd like to remove and then click, uh, then pick the buildings you would like to construct and place it in the area. Don't forget that you need supplies to build and that your villagers need to eat before they work. To be able to use said supplies, you'll need to spam pizza roll emotes in chat and place them in the storage building. Okay then. So it actually, so when we click on these trees, we actually get a little bit more wood uh, for the construction by doing that, but it also takes a little bit of food. So if you're short a little bit of wood, you can get you can get some of it by cutting down the trees, but the food is something to pay attention to. So to build the furnace, we need 15 food, 60 stone, 30 wood, and four workers. Right now we have nine, so we can build more than one structure at a time, which is pretty sweet. So let's cut down a couple of trees and build that uh, furnace. 150. Oh, the small trees don't count. Oh, scammed. All right, let's build our blacksmith. I guess this is our furnace. The blacksmith will come next. Well, let's try to build it as close to the water as we can. Anybody here ever do actual blacksmithing before? Like, any of you guys ever make horseshoes or, like, tools and stuff? They usually have that, like, at the county fair or whatever. It's always cool to see people actually making, like, tools that way or buildings. All right, let's go check the construction. Oh, this guy's booking it. Yeah, go, bro, go, get in there. Go, 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 go. Let's move, let's move it, people. Come on, right now. Come on. Let's get it going. Let's get that house up. Let's move. Let's move. We got to go on. We got more houses to build today. Let's go. Build it quick and cheap. Let's go. Plywood. Shoddy foundation. Let's go. That's cool. Excuse me. Jeez. Man, look at those hairdos, bro. Kids in 2032 are going to have hair like that. It's what's going to be in when they're on the new talk tick. 
furnace is ready. Oh, look at that. This log in the way is irritating. But well, we have built our furni. Okay, let's go chat with Friar Tuck. Finally, Silwich has its own furnace. Imagine all the tools you could make with its help. However... Aren't we lacking a smithy to make them? Precisely, dear Robin. I did not want to put too much work on your back at once, but it is a necessity. Please take this pickaxe because we are going to need oars for that. Come back when you have enough. Well, well. Put into storage 50 wood, 20 stone, 10 iron ingots, and 20 food. Damn, we still need more food? Damn. Actually, I think we can make food by... If we make a fireplace now, we can convert some of that raw meat into food. How did that get there? What? Oh, it must be from one of the trees tipping over? What? Okay. Uh, Alright then. Okay, we got a bunch of stone. But let's save that for more food. Okay. We need to put more food in the storage. Damn. What we could do is we could actually uh, make that furnace. Smelt some of the food. Or buy some from the uh, trader. Actually, wait. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because if we make the furnace, we should... We could probably go to a camp outside of town, actually, though. And we could go make a bunch of bread. But that takes, like, water, flour. I don't know what the crafting recipe on that is. Salt. Actually, wait. Is there a way to see? Oh, we have to be at the specific building. Hmm... We got our inventory all mixed up here. Uh, we ourselves are low on food. Um, um. Uh, we need a fireplace is what I mean. The, the furnace we can make ores at. And I think we can... We might be able to look, make bread here too. I think so. Let's test. Oh yeah, we can make bread. So... Uh, Flour, salt, five wood, and a water bottle. So we can make a little bit of... We can make food. Kind of weird that you make it here, though. And that's for, like, smelting ores. It's like... Hi, welcome to Bob's Ore and Bread. What can I get you? Uh, one tin and uh, a sourdough. One tin and sourdough coming right up. Like, okay, buddy. Thanks. Well, let's go make bread. Let me see what else I've got in here. I'm gonna grab all the water. Don't need any yeast or anything? Okay. You prefer your bread in $100 bills? I understand. It's time to check in again, chat. Where are y'all watching from? Good to see you all in for the big O stream. Welcome, everybody. Good to see you all here. Am I gonna uh, do any giveaways for non-PC gamers members? Um, if I yeah, since I primarily am a PC gamer, they usually offer me PC keys. But if I get some, I'll let you guys know for sure. Oh, we need uh, we need wood too. But it does look like one flour, one salt, and water is really all we need. So that's easy. Good thing I went down and cut down a ton of trees. Norway, South Africa, Indiana, awesome Tennessee. <gasps> Pinto territory. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, the sun shines bright today. Ah, the Netherlands. Oh, yes. A Netherlands wall. There you go. Hello to all the Netherlands that watches. Dude, I hope we're inside this building we can actually customize the building, too. It'd be cool to be able to upgrade this building to do different things and to, like, have storage and stuff so we can store it here rather than, like, going back to village storage. Nice Just be kind of cool. Okay, so we should be able to make two bread. 
What? Six bread? Oh, it must make three each. Damn. Well, that's good. Oh, it makes six per... Oh, it's... Yeah, three per... Okay, yep. All right, nice. Did not know. So if we need to, we can go sell more glass bottles and then trade for the food, but I think we're good now. Let's see what else we got. So in the inventory, we need... 20 food. Well, that should solve that problem. I'll check, take a cheese for myself. And now we need to make iron ingots, which means we're going to need wood. Probably going to have to go cut down some more trees. Maybe. Look at all the Dutch in chat. Wow. Washington, Illinois, Egypt. Awesome. Welcome aboard. North Dakota. 20,000 leagues under the sea. Wow. I've never been to that movie. Okay, let's drop off the salt. And bottles we'll use later. It's cool. We can use those for recycling. All right, we've got 29 iron ore. Oh, actually, no. We got another stack of 50. That's good. Big shout out to the Netherlands. I certainly do love your country. It's a it's a lovely place. Be be very happy. It's a very nice place. You guys do all right over there. All right. It, so we can make silver or we can make iron ingots. I think we should just make as many as we can make. Wow. So we can make thirty nine. Iron ingots, which will take 78 wood. Apparently we can do it, so let's do it. Well, that's going to take a minute. It'll take about as long as it takes to uh, chat, get up to 600 likes by clicking and tapping that like button. Not to mention to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. And a good opportunity to click or tap join and become a member today. If you've gone out for McDonald's or Burger King or, hell, even Taco Tuesdays, you can definitely... Become a member today by smashing that join button to unlock giveaways and much more in the Discord. Links are all, of course, down below in the description. Exclamation point Discord with the lovely link in chat. You can join our Discord for giveaways and much more. All right, looks like the furnace is almost done. And boom, there we go. All right, so now we got to put 10 iron ingots in there and we're good. Bum, bum, bum. Burger tacos? What? That's crazy, Chad. Don't do that crazy talk. Alright, build a blacksmith now. Alright, now we can do that. The rest of the wood back. Stone. Bum, bum, bum. Oh. Wait, was that stone or iron ore? Oh, I guess they could. Add, we don't have to cook that. I guess. Well, maybe cooking the food creates it more. Can you leave the furnace going while you do something else? No, I don't think you can actually back out of that menu. I think I've tried that before and it cancels the. Like I've done it when you when you craft the bow. If you leave that thing, it'll cancel it. So I I guess you have to like tend to it because you know it has to be done by hand. City builder RPG both. This menu is a little bit city builder here. Yeah, I guess. Okay, so now we can build a blacksmith. The blacksmith can create any metal objects that you might need, such as armor and swords. Furnace. This furnace allows you to melt raw ores and minerals into bars. All right, before we construct anything, I'm going to save just to make sure. I don't want to. I don't wanna lose out on that work. Where is Pinto? We're over 600 likes. Um, Pinto. Is the Italian one within our presence? We can build a fireplace too, that helps us to make food. Uh, any fresh pe piece of meat can be turned into a nutritious roast. So, that's a pretty good option to be able to, uh... That's a pretty good option to be able to, uh, cook food. Oh, he is, he's in the chat. Okay, hold on. He's actually in the team speak too. Chat, prepare your questions for the Italian one. Ask Pinto anything you'd like. And yes, ladies, sorry. He is that way. 
So, no chance. He is taken. The Italian one. Hello. Hello. Chat will prepare three questions for you, Pinto. Oh, no. Are you prepared to answer? Possibly. I do not know. We will see. Do this. I'm waiting, chat. Well, I can move them up. Okay, so we can continue to build up north. Nice. Chat, you better make them some good questions, though. Keep, keep them coming. Pinto, you pick the ones that you think will be more interesting. It'll help with okay. both your image and your lore. I'll preemptively answer a question. I, a lot of people ask me where I was born, where I was conceived. Answer is on a plane to boat. That's your one free question, chat. What the hell happened to all my bread? Oh, I had to use it to cut down those damn trees. Wait, I'm about to die to death too from not eating. Oh god. Alright, I'm gonna go buy food. Pinto, right. keep those questions coming. He's going to answer the the cream the creme de la creme. Let's see. Raphael Miranda asks, Pinto, do you like pineapple on your pizza? No. No. I'm ashamed you'd even consider that as a pineapple on pizza. Like, why? That's an obvious no. I'm a human. Wow. Never. Heck no. So that's a no on the pineapple on pizza. Oh, here's a big one. Will you be playing with Raptor soon? I'm possibly about to quit my job, so the answer is yes, if I get invited. Really? What are you going to yes. do, though? I have no idea, but we're all kind of sick and tired, so uh, we're just all about the point. We're going to quit. I don't want to say I told you so, Pinto, but good. Told me so. No, I didn't say that. But if you insist, I need to go get more wood so we can make. Damn. I gotta make a lot of bread. Come in, chat. Go look for the best one. You have one more question, so make it count. Um, still not hit a, hit a million yet? Nope, I'm working on it right now. I'm working on it right now. How many pints are in a Pinto? <laughs> the good one. Some, some of these are getting very personal. You like it, though. You wouldn't have it any <laughs> other way. Somebody asked me if I'm a virgin. You, no, you fly United. Exactly. I'm, well, in Virgin America doesn't exist anymore. That's Alaska now. Come on. See? Hobo Yogi, your first car was a Pinto. I'm so sorry. What job does Pinto have? He works spotlights at a prison. Essentially. You think I about mean... a Pinto? <laughs> He's the illumination specialist. Actually, my, one of my job titles used to be the technical assistant to the technical director. Wow. For the University of Tennessee. Technically. Damn, I'm taking damage because I don't... I'd rather not uh, eat and take damage. What was the most defining what? moment in my life? Eat. It was... Uh, High definition it was, camera. It was... <laughs> <laughs> the one time I took a picture with him. <laughs> an HD camera. Next question. Actually, there's two defining moments. One involves a camera. It's Raptor oh, yelled oh. at me about the gimbal. Yes. Oh, you <laughs> reminded me. A very <laughs> foolish mistake, Christopher. <laughs> and a then, fool. Uh, on the same note, it was uh, when I recorded some Men of War with Raptor. And he yelled at me. The first time or the yeah, other yeah. time? <laughs> oh. The other time was... Uh, Machine gun. <laughs> Machine gun new. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, that's, I forgot about that. Why are you running into machine gun, you new? Uh, I missed you so much. Uh, the pain in your voice. It was more stress. Oh, yeah. I mean, the fact that we just got in a board at work was, True. wow. Blessings. A it was a blessing. A true Pinto bless. 
Alright, I can finally build a blacksmith. Alright, chat. Pinto, you want to pick one more? Sure. Let's see. Come on, chat. Give me one good question. I need four good question. I can kind of only build, like, one spot here. Without being space inefficient. I don't want to be crammed in, but... Yeah, we'll build there. I wanted to build a little closer, chat, so that way I could conserve space for the furnace, but we'll, we'll do it the hard way on purpose. Alright. Pinto, if you were president, what would be your first decision? That's a good one. Ooh, um... <sighs> yeah, that would be your first decision. Yeah, the inauguration would just be like, <sighs> "Okay, bye." Uh, I need a nap. Oh, I would. Uh, two things: mandatory siestas. Wow. And uh, legally require everybody to like, subscribe, and hit that join button on Raptor's channel. That's right. Become a member today. Ooh, coffee or tea? Uh, tea. Tea. -hee. Well, thank you for letting me join. I hope to uh, join you in some live streams or videos soon. And I will hopefully be seeing you for your one million celebration. It should be soon. Thanks for dropping in, Pinto. Thank you for having me. Have Ooh. a good one. Chat, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that join button. You know, for this price of a small fries, you can turn Raptor into a big cheese. He loves that one. He loves that one. I do. That's that's really that's my favorite. That's like... that was on the fly too. I really didn't. Yeah, that was that. that was catchy. Uh, deliver okay. your DiGiorno, Pinto. Uh, homemade. And one last one. What's the best story you have about Raptor Go? I think it was probably you said it with the two. Well, IRL yeah. stories, I guess maybe. Uh, IRL was definitely the uh, walking around Hiroshima. <laughs> And uh, it was me and you walking around. Oh, the Hiroshima. late night time? Yeah, the late night walk. Oh, or... yeah. Oh, yeah, we really connected. We had pizza, and Pinto drank half a beer, and then I almost had to carry him back up the elevator because he's such a such a lightweight chap. <laughs> he couldn't even take more than two beers up the elevator. Like he, we went oh. out for pizza, and he was just like, I need a nap. Pinto, you had two beers. Or <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> the one that actually I figured out with the top six was coming back from Narita. <sighs> On the subway. Oh, you dropped your ice cream and tried to smear it into the ground with your sandal. Yeah. You 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 defiled Japanese infrastructure with your criminal attack. Oh my God, we should have left you there to rot in prison. So chat, pretty much the way it goes God. is I'd been drinking and I got one of the push pop um, ice creams. I was eating it and it tasted like cream soda and it was blue and uh, white. I remember that vividly. And it fell off. <laughs> and so I was intoxicated next to Raptor on the subway, and I just, for some reason, thought it was a good idea to use my foot to just push it under the seat of the subway. I, I wasn't, by the way. I remember grabbing him by the collar and being like, you need to behave right now. <laughs> <laughs> you Young but, man, when Japan, when the emperor finds out what you did. <laughs> <laughs> but nothing will look better or make me laugh more than looking up. And just looking across and seeing this Japanese woman oh, looking at me. Oh, that poor woman was so terrified. <laughs> oh, oh my God, the uh, that poor Japanese woman. woman from Hiroshima. Oh, <laughs> the Gaijin Pinky. Gaiju, yeah, Gaijin Pinku. Oh my God, and Pinky. Uh, <laughs> oh, Thanks for dropping uh, in. I gotta eat before I die, chat. I gotta eat before I die. Have a good one, chat. Have a good one, Raptor. Thank you, Pinto. Take care. I miss you. Miss you too. Thanks, bye bye, everybody. Thanks for being an awesome friend. Bye. Thank you too. Take care. Mont's Heaven Band. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and finish up the uh, quest line with Friar Tuck. Uh, let's see. Oh, so we have an actual decent pickaxe. Good. Uh, Pinto's lovely, by the way. Make sure you support him. He's uh, got a channel, too. It's on the Discord. He's not as active anymore, but maybe there'll be a chance. My, my biggest goal, though, chat... For all the people that I stream with, whether it be Bradford or Alex or uh, Pinto or uh, Jessica B or whatever, is for them to be really successful, independent, and happy. And I, I love giving them the knowledge to do that. And the confidence, too, patting them on the back. Get out there and be somebody, kid. It is a day of sorrow indeed. 
our beloved grandmother Matilda fell victim to a beastly bear. Oh no. For the good of our people, please kill it before it causes another such tragedy. Are you kidding me? Can I not get any peace in these damn games without a frickin' bear? Come on, man. Are you kidding me? <sighs> really? I can't believe it. I'll get to it right away. Do you know where I could likely find that bear? San Francisco at Pride Week. It should still be lurking around our dear Matilda's house. Somewhere around Westwood. Maybe sitting in its den. What a foul creature. Oh, God. I need to warn you, though. That bear is infamously large. Even with your commendable hunting skills, a barrage of arrows will not be enough to put it down. Yeah, I couldn't even take down a damn archer without putting eight arrows into their skull. We do have a blacksmith now, so maybe you could get a sword. Hopefully a sword will be enough. Hopefully. Ooh. All right, hold up now. Hold up. Let's see how much a sword is to make. <gasps> Pinto, is that you? Okay. A uh, short sword requires three sulfur, five iron ingots, and wood. Long sword. Oh, wow. Look at the weapons we can make, chat. This is neat. Short sword, long sword, sharpened hatchet, sharpened pickaxe, and a lock pick. Ooh. I think we actually might be able to find those in our camp. I know those are around. I've seen those before. So a long sword, we're going to need silver. So that could be either mined or possibly found. But we need five iron ingots and three sulfur. Yeah, this is gone bearable, chat. It's going to be an absolutely grisly outcome. Yeah, thanks for putting up with me when we were hanging out with Pinto. He's a great guy. He's one of my friends. I love him. Nope, can't escape bears. So we're about to die to death. So get ready to... Get ready to... Uh, to see me face hell. Okay, well, let's leave wood and stone there. I guess I'll take all this stuff and put it in my own personal inventory. Oops. About those. So wood and stone we'll keep here. Bread we'll keep here. Water's for me. Where are my um, empty glasses? Bum, 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 bum. Raptor's a bit of a bear himself. Stop at you. Stop. Stop at you. Go on the Instagram for that. There's all sorts of wildlife pictures there. Bum, bum, bum. All right. Oh, wow. Look at the bottles we got, dude. Like 15 Ooh. bottles. Jeez. I don't have any sulfur. Did we... I, I swear we picked up sulfur. It must have been flour. That's probably what it was. Ooh. How bare you say that? Okay. Chat. <laughs> Behave. And I still have that broken pickaxe. Can I get it repaired somehow? Or no, broken axe. Let's see if we can get our hatchet repaired. We gotta go gather a ton of wood and sulfur and stuff now. So let's go do that. Bum, bum. With all those bottles, you may want to seek help. Bro, I got I got more bottles than a Coke bottling plant, bro. I, I wish the buildings were of different uh, lengths, though, or, or shapes. These both seem to just be kind of like the same... Well, they're definitely different buildings, but they, like, are the same length or whatever. Bro, did you really need all this extra room between you and the furnace? This guy cost me extra materials. Being all lavish. Is this Alex building a damn house? How do we do repairs? Uh, kind of metal axe. Yeah, what do you do if you need a repair? Do I just have him make another one? Sharpened hatchet. Well, the durability on that sucks. You may as well just use the dull one. Let's go into our skills, too. So we have five more skill points to spend. I, I might need to keep them for the damn bear. But let's, uh, let's go logging for a while. You can barely contain yourself? Okay, chat. All right, well, this shouldn't be too hard because we got the skill points to counteract it, so... It, I guess a dull, a dull pickaxe that lasts for a very long time, when you have skill point to basically, like, two-strike a tree, is way better than just keep dumping materials into a tool that's just going to break faster. 
All right, back to logging. Here we go. Use the dull one and to bore the bear to death. Wow. I like you, Chad. I like you. Can you not repair your tools? I looked. I didn't see a repair option at the blacksmith. I would assume that'd be the only place to repair, unless there's like a workshop that we haven't unlocked yet. But now we gotta go kill a frickin' bear. But that's gonna mean we need to sh craft a short sword, but I gotta find sulfur for that, so I guess what we could do is probably... Um, get... We could probably buy the sulfur from the trader? But I'm gonna need more cash for that, but what I can do is... Get some more wood so that we can smelt down more ingots and sell them to them too. Because I have a feeling that uh, stuff from the... Uh, what, that, that won't break? Oh, there it goes. I have a feeling that the uh, mine... Respawns. Oh, the trader has a repair kit. Yeah, that's true. That's kind of silly though. Like, if I make a blacksmith, let me give it to him. Although it would be nice to... A repair kit's good to, like, repair something out in the field. That's a good idea. Instead of coming all the way back, you can, like, repair an axe or something. How are we doing on materials? Now yeah, we'll go back when we get an extra 50 wood. Plus, I probably need to make more food for everybody. It's an interesting thing to have to also pay for the food for the construction for the workers. Kind of like an actual cool thing to do. This is a really cool and good-looking game. I agree. I like this game so far. I do like the little, uh, the grindy material parts, because these, these aren't really that bad. I, I think I really like the deer hunting part, but I'm glad it was so short, because that could get real boring quickly. But if we ever need food, that's a good option, too, to go, uh, go deer hunting and then cook all the deer at the fireplace. No, there's action. There's fighting. We, we just were in a battle uh, a little bit ago with some bandits, and apparently we're going to have to go fight a bear pretty soon, so we're getting ready to do that. So there's little quests of killing bears and clearing out bandits. Apparently there's horses, too. How much cash do we have? 31 coin. How are you doing? So he has a sulfur for 16. Damn, I don't have enough. Well, we'll go uh, sell some glasses. That's fine. There's probably a lot of boxes around the camp that I... I know there's one particular box that has a uh, a lockpick in it, and I haven't found that yet. There's a box around here with a... Actually, it might be back here. No, I think I've been here before. That, I think that box is supposed to have the pick at, uh, the uh, lock pick there. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, sell some coin. Uh, class for coin. We're literally recycling bottles in this game for money. We're recycling glass bottles for money. Your day, sir. So he'll buy empty bottles for ten coin. What is this GameStop prices? <laughs> he'll he'll buy them for seventy, but sell them for one forty. Lol. Wait, how do I sell this to you? <laughs> Bye. 
well. A lot of people are showing up asking some questions that we just covered, so make sure after you subscribe and turn on the notification bell, hang out for uh, 10 or 15 minutes. We'll be covering a lot of stuff here in just a little bit. Some action's about to pick up here in just a moment. I need to buy more of this. How do I sell this to him? No, I, item drop, I think we'll... It's just going to drop it on the floor, isn't it? Yeah, it just drops it on the floor. I think something. Hmm. Ah, oh, we have to right click, okay. Seems like we'll find a hell of a lot of those glass bottles. Okay, so we need, uh, was it one more, two more sulfur? And all the iron ore. He won't buy ingots, but he will buy flour, salt, empty bottles, green potion, yellow potion, Bowstrings. I'm going to keep all those potions, though. I don't know how good those could be. Cool. Good job, chat. All right, so let's go check again to make sure we got everything in order. So we just need five wood now and five ingots. All right, I'm going to go drop off the ingots, too. Too bad we can't just dump all the ingots off to him and just be like... Make us whatever we want. Just make sure you got it in the inventory. Okay, so we need five wood. Let's go make our uh, weapon. Go fight a bear. So if we need more food, we'll have to make the fireplace. But in order to make that, we need more food. <laughs> so we have to make the fireplace to make more food to make more stuff. Alright, short sword. Three sulfur, five iron ingots, and five wood. There you are, sir. Craft me uno. Muchacho. Gracias, por favor. <gasps> Raptor, are you French? Kill a bear. You gotta be kidding me. Where would the bear be? There's a watchtower there. Oh, it's all the way out there. Oh, boy. That's a long way to go, too. We better bring a snack. Let's drink some water before we leave. Don't like how it puts a potion in your hand. That's not the same. So the arrows apparently are not going to be as effective. I think we could probably drop off all these pickaxes too. Of the and eh, we'll carry the broken one. This is like you can counteract the brokenness with skills, so it's like I'm gonna leave slot one blank, a blank so I can unequip. I'd rather use dull and broken tools and then counteract that with. Uh, Okay, there's got to be a, a lockpick in like one more box of this town that we haven't seen. So we'll have to be on the lookout for a box that we didn't yet find.
and or random stuff sitting around. Okay, we'll take the bread with us. And we'll have to do some hunting when we get back, there's no doubt about it. Alright, let's go kill a bear. Let's save. I just got an email about a really big game you guys are going to be interested in. Although, you may have not heard about it yet, but it's it's going to be big. Alright, let's go find ourselves a bear. These woods are also full of bandits, too, so we're probably going to find something along the way. Maybe we can just, maybe we quick travel with the uh, stable. Maybe that's what it's for. All right, let's go get a bear. Go up into the right and the back to the highway. Smurfs versus aliens. Yes, but also no. There's a watchtower there. Should we go to the watchtower? You guys want to climb the big o, the big o castle tower up there? It is on the way. We we could stop. We're not going to stop again though. If you guys have to go to the bathroom. Okay, that's it. I'm pulling in. I'm pulling in. See how the sword play works. Guess we can block. That that's a short sword? Pretty damn good sword. Are we there yet? I can turn this live stream around right now, chat. You want you want the stream to actually be good? Because we'll turn around right now. That's a cool screenshot. Oh, this one's even better. Uh, favorite cartoon growing up? Oh, that changed over time. You know, Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles, Sonic, DuckTales. Uh, Tailspin. Simpsons, Family Guy, King of the Hill, all of them, basically. Wow, okay, what could be in here? cool. So the castle we have to go to, by the way, is over there. So I, I'm pretty sure that's the big O castle that we're going to have to, like, eventually fight or whatever. Whoever's down there, I think it's Mickey Mouse himself, we're going to have to go fight his attorneys, the, fi the true final boss. So this is Dark Souls, basically, now. 
Alright, so let's grab now. I know what's already in here. It's a skill scroll. Real ones who saw the earlier video know that we know that you know that we know. Who are big brains that know, because they know. What? Is that a scroll of knowledge? How did I know? Pretty much all that's up here. Well, alright, Chad. We'll go to the top. We'll go to the top. Mickey and Minnie actually did get married in, in real life, did they? Wow. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, that's Watchtower done. Let's go to... Is that the M5? Oh, no, no. Um, okay, let's try to go to back to the crossroads. We'll meet Bone Thugs and Harmony there. That's true. Goofy is a dad, yeah. Now, always remember that. Whenever you're sad or feel alone, Goofy's a good dad. Gorsh! I wonder if we can find things like mushrooms and stuff out here. Oh, an owl. That means we have a resting spot. Who might you be? Oh, that's that. Oh, wow. Oops. Did I really want to rest here? Oh, you gotta hand it to the developers. They certainly have a hand in a lot of detail here. Well, luckily, the playtest didn't cost me an arm and a leg. The Ruins of Fourth Doe. Ortho Passage. I think these trees each are something that you have to go discover. Wow. A little cottage down there. I feel like there's something hidden in each of these markers on the map with trees, but it could just indicate that the area is wooded. But I guess that's the whole map. That's why it's called Sherwood Builders, YouTuber. Duh. That seems like the place where you're going to meet a witch or something. Uh-oh, that could be knights or something there. <clears throat> there could be knights there. Damn, that's a nice house. Okay, we're supposed to go... Well, that's the Harglu outpost. Oh, I'm sure as hell not going there, then. Alright, well, since we're expecting combat, let's work on skills. Uh, we have five to spend. Did I hear a horse? Oh yeah, there's definitely a patrol there. Oh, wait, I think that might just be a friendly village and people walking around. That's West Westford, okay. I wonder if Buford is around. Okay, uh, skill point time. Hale and Hardy. Now I have oil and Hardy? Okay.
Uh, sharp arrows, bow damage plus 7. Weapon durability plus 10. Ooh, those two are good. Energize 3. Weapon durability plus 10. Butcher, sword damage plus 10. That's it. That's, that's it. That's one. Let's go with better weapon durability too. Sword damage plus 10. Nice. And we're about to level up again, so that's good. We should be on the lookout for deer while we're here. I think we could trade with this village, but I don't really have much cash. Hardly easy to do hunting down here. No woods. Focus time is horrible. Is our class a ranger? Dude, our class is Robin. Oh, God. Oh, that's great. Can't parry? Blocking, you still take damage. <laughs> Hold on, I'm having lunch. Chill out. I'll come over there and kick your ass. Behind the tree, bro. That other guy dropped something I didn't see before either. Well, that was interesting. More wine. Uh, just like me in the streams. Hey, man, brother. Alright, we probably cleared that camp out. All those guys died to death, so... I wonder if my health will go back up over time, or if I need to take some of that. And eh, let's take some of that good green. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Woo! Wonder if we can hunt uh, ducks and stuff. I hear birds, geese maybe.
This bear fight's gonna be hilarious. Now that these guys, now that they died to death. Wait, the knight in shining armor is coming back again? My hero. Bro, I'm just... Did, aren't you guys... Shouldn't be dead. I'm coming back to, like, raid your stuff, bro. I'm trying to raid your shadow legends. Mordow. Chivalry 2. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, ho, ho. Oh. Oh. Sorry. He had to split, and so do I. Do they just keep respawning dudes? Oh, get wrecked! Thou ist wrecked, sir. Become wrecked. Did you drop something? Oh, there it is. Where? Oh, that deer shouldn't be able to run like that in the water. Oh, man. Okay, well. Sure as hell leveling up, then. There's nothing wrong with that. Not to mention I killed that one dude over there. That was cool. <laughs> I'm having a good time. Are you having a good time as well, chat? No. Wow. Well, beats having to mine this stuff myself. Oh, that's for Bradford. Yeah, that's to make sure he's in every stream. <laughs> Ooh, it was totally worth coming here. A chicken leg? You know how it is, guys. Those of you who have bookshelves at your apartment or your house, you just keep a chicken leg up there, you know? Okay, well, we can come back here to... Uh, we can come back here to... Uh, oh, I was hoping for more loot in there. With the big old cage. <gasps> what? Can I ride you? Oh, damn! Well, horse is confirmed. Can't go in there. Yeah, no, you put a chicken leg on your your bookshelf, hence the name bookshelf. Obviously for chicken. Well, we can cook food here, but I it's only for meat. Meat. And I don't... Wait, what could be up there? Probably even more security. I don't know if I want to tempt fate. Matilda's Cottage. Oh, boy. Let's just get on with our... Bear quest. You couldn't think of anyone better to do Atlas gameplay? Oh, me? Yeah, maybe I'll get into New World and Atlas and all those other games someday. I I try. There's so many new games out, you guys know. Like, it, it's seriously, every 24 hours, it's like 10 new games come out. Most of which I haven't even heard of either. And then find a month later. I wonder if we can fish. Is there, like, fish? Well, the water looks pretty, though. How come I have to kill the bear, by the way? Isn't there, like, knights and stuff all around here? Okay, we'll go up there later. Hmm. Back in my day, we wore a pickle on our belt. It's customary just in case we happen to find a shelf chicken leg. Darn right. Was the style at the time? Uh oh. Oh boy.
Uh oh. <laughs> oh, dude. It's going down. Oh, dude, the whole atmosphere and the lighting changed and the fog. Bear? Are you there, bear? There, there, bear. There's no need to scare. Just come hither. Oh. Is that a frickin' gorilla? Oh, he's just pissed off now. Two. Well, can't get him with the bow. I'm doing like two damage. Uh, let's wait there, bear. I'm gonna... Sir, could you... I just wait there for a second, Bear. I'm gonna upgrade some skills before I enter the, uh... The Thunderdome. Swordsman plus 20 damage. Oh, I'm going down that route. Oh, it costs three. Damn. Right, well, we'll save our next point for it. My arch nemesis! Holy, what the hell? Stun, stun locked, stun locked. That's not a freaking. He's on steroids! He's on bearoids! No! No! That's BS. That's not how bears look or work. Is this a Resident Evil game? That's not fair, Bear. That's not fair, Bear. This isn't gonna be a, a fair fight. It's gonna be a bear fight. Excuse me, sir. Can I just sneak in here for a minute? Sir, I'm trying to... Okay. Wow. I have 98 arrows, but I only do like 2 damage. Is there a way I can go into like nerd rage and do tons of... sucks. Oh, he's got target lock. Yep, yeah, he locks on. Damn it. So if I dodge, he's just gonna rotate on an axis. Oh, God, it's ugly. Oh, my God, Lord. Oh! Reach up. Bear? Come on, dude. Not a freaking bear! By the way, it says level one bear. This is a level one bear.
This ain't even his final bear form. Nothing can compare to the bear. Alright, listen, I'm sorry, Smokey, that I lit that campfire in 1999 that one time. I'm really sorry, dude. Okay? The park ranger told me not to do it again, and I listened, alright? Stop freaking out. Listen, Goldilocks is not that bad. Sorry that she slept in your parents' bed, but this is no way to behave. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna be over here. I need to reassess the situation. I'm gonna have some... some I'm gonna... You want some? Don't you... Hey, don't you recharge your health. That's BS. I'm gonna have some chicken. Alright, let's reassess. Two points to spend, damn. If the bear is this big, imagine how frickin' big the bees are. Gouda! Pretty good cheese. He's just sleeping. Well, let's go into his bear cave. You know what? That's it? Your cave sucks, dude. Ooh. Uh oh. Matilda's key, a key that opens the chest in Matilda's house. Well, sorry about your death, ma'am. Your stuff's now mine. Robin Hood. Peace out. Hell, I'm not hanging out here anymore. Oh, cool. Oh, neat. Some of that, um, what do they call that, chat? That stuff, that light, um, pitch, I think it is? It was like a jar of pitch that tipped over and someone dropped a torch on, and now we can use it to cook food. That's cool. Mmm. That, full of that pitchy goodness. Mmm. How lovely. Oh, Flippers is in chat. Yeah, we're, uh, just reliving the tale of his childhood. That bear was frickin' rid I'm glad they did that. That bear was so, like, cool that they made it, like, a freaky, like, super swole bear. That made it more eerie and weird. <laughs> that was cool. Come on, let's go rob somebody. Rob they hood. Mm, yeah, that smoky tar flavor that you kids love. Just like Grandma used to make until she... Okay, let's go into the... Whoa, damn. I hope she's got homeowners. Damn. How the hell long has she been dead? This house is like overgrown. Open the lock chest. Repair tools, wine, green crunk, and yellow potion.
Oh, did she did she have Jake from State Farm come by? Okay. Well, good luck to her. She's gonna need a hell of a hell of a builder to remodel that one. Wow, what the hell? Dude, that bear showed up and just like Whoa. Okay, what's our current quest? Uh let's see. Re oh no, that's done. Active. Nope. Uh, where does terrifying bear is endangering the village and it's already claimed some poor person's life? I must put the terror to an end. Well, that's done. Octotuck. Okay. Well, there's more stables. Dude, I think we actually could buy, like, horses and stuff and maybe upgrade them. Oh, she was... Oh, she was doing a home remodel already. This is red paint. Okay. I have a... I mean, I'm no... I'm no, uh... Sherlock, but I assume she was out here doing laundry and that bear came up and was just like, you're gonna get in the truck or I'm gonna stab you. I'm like, okay, bear. I lied. Very scary. Uh, the the thing this this game needs to do uh, symbols a little bit better. Like there's a green like highlight that there's something here, but it's so damn like it's all it's all green. Like, dude, make it red and, like, flashy or something. Like blood. Oh, she painted her house in the bloods of her enemies? Well. Now she can go use the bear. Uh, let's see. You have water and food but can't work out what to press to use? Oh, you left click. If you put, like, if you put bread in your hot bar or water in your hot bar, you can press, like, three or four. For whatever food or whatever, and then you can just chug away, brother. Amen. Labat blue. Sweet cape. Thanks, bro. I think it's pretty cool. Oh, uh, now that we killed the bear, did we, like, skill up a lot? What? I didn't get any... Well, maybe when we go back to the camp. You kill a bear, and it's just like... Oh, Robin, you're back. Yeah. Uh, oh, these nerds again? Hold on. I don't like that these guys infinitely re respawn. Chivalry 2. I forget I'm going home before I die to death. Nah, I'm not robbing you guys again. I am Robin Hood, but I'm not robbing you. I'll get to it right away. Do you know where I could likely find that bear? Wait, what? That moment when you get hit so hard you actually like re re you repeat the previous quest text. <laughs> I, I must have been on like one HP. I fought those guys three times. They should be dead permanently. We go live to Robin Hood running through the woods after drinking. Yeah, he probably gave up. Holy crap. A deer. What do you call a deer that can't see? No idea. Me either. Hey chat. What do you call a... Oh, hold on. Oh, you guys don't like my jokes? It wasn't that bad. Come on, guys. Let's not be that way. <laughs> Come on, what, what, what do you call a... Uh, elephant cross with a rhino. Elephino. Haha, <laughs> you get it? Oh, he didn't like that. Okay, alright then. How about some drinking? Dude, there's everybody in these woods trying to kill you, man. Two coins? That's all that guy had? Come on, man. That wasn't even worth it. <laughs> I could have, like, taken their swords and sold it to their trader for more. Ah. <sighs> 
Uh, what's the difference between a big elephant and a little lighter? Uh, one's a little lighter. Okay, well, let's go left. Wait a minute. I wonder if those guys had, like, a camp. Oh, Devil's Den. Wait a minute. If those guys were like anything like the guys that we encountered with the, uh, the archer and the swordsman, they might have a camp for us to loot. Wait a minute. Devil's Den. Hope they don't respawn again immediately. like a campfire or anything? Ooh. Ah, sulfur, cheese. Now that's more like it. Okay, so the bags even have stuff in them, too, so make sure you check the, the bags. You wouldn't think that they would actually have stuff in them, but they do. Thought I heard someone running up on me. Damn, another repair kit? Sweet. Let's do... Uh, let's stack the yellows. Put them in the hot bar. Keep in mind in this game, you can put extra stuff in your hot bar, too, for storage. I always like keeping one of the slots open, too, because when when Robin has his bow out, he's, like, super slow. You can't run. Well, you can sprint forward, but you can't, like... It's hard to do anything else, so I, I like keeping the first slot open. And then you can just unequip and just run. Otherwise, it hurts your mobility. All right, well, anytime you find boys, uh, make sure you go and loot their booty. Some of you already do, and that's fine. Good, that's that's a good way to collect that bounty. Okay, let's go back to camp. So anytime that we find that chat, anytime we find like Devil's Den or there's little raider points, uh the uh Arglo outpost. So this en this map is littered with enemies. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh yeah, there's even like a, a little warning here of them l looting uh, people transporting stuff with a cart. Cool, so they put in details of like even the, you know, like near the enemy's camps, there's like little sites where they've raided people. Don't watch football? Nah, not really. I, I spend so much time gaming, I don't even, like, feel like I'm a million years behind movies, books, life, you know. Mother says I'm too young to go out to Devil's Den here in Little Rock. Well, that's all right. Keep eating your mac and cheese and get your grades up and... Maybe one day. Yo, chat, thanks for uh, 850 likes. I'm pretty sure they'll have no problem getting up to that pinnacle of greatness. Good job, chat. Ah, we're home. Although we don't have a quest at the moment. Is there a way to, like, pick one? Reunion, Hunter's Best Friend, Tasty Treats. We've done them all. Oh, we have no active quest, so... Wow, so I didn't get any points for that? I guess we just got the loot, but that was, like, wasn't even anything. Lucky Mezekin, thank you very much for the four ninety nine. Thank you very much. What's this gem of a game? This is Robin Hood Sherwood Builders. Playtest for a game coming soon to Steam, but damn, it's really good so far. Robin, how 
glad I am to see you right now. Word is there is a convoy nearby. Trucker hat emo. Is transporting a bunch of imprisoned folk. Surely you will find that worth looking into, right, Robin? Amen, bro. Hey, I'll go find a convoy near far, brother. Amen. 18 wheels, freedom. Amen. Yay. You Brits might drive on the left, but you're all right with me. Amen, D-Day. Amen, brother. Surely I will. We need to help those people. How much time do we have to attack? Ten minutes. Enough to make proper preparation. That is for sure. Our men are willing to fight, but we need to arm them first. I saw a lot of arms in in the village. I'm pretty sure everyone's well armed. In fact, I just uh, well, I, I just I, I just bared arms a minute ago against a bear with bare arms. Leave that to me. I will fetch the weapons and we'll be on our way. Good, and I will reach out to our men and tell them to get ready. Bring us the weapons once you have them. Human trafficking. Wait, that's the that's the. I thought these were prisoners. Well, I guess like technically. Yeah, if they're on the road. Bum, bum. Hmm. So, we need to create one extra bow, one extra short sword, and then talk to Tuck. Okay. Well, that's easy. We can probably... Okay, uh, we can talk to the trader to buy another bow uh, string. What do we have for cash? 114? Okay, let's buy a bow string. Let's go put some stuff away in the house. Robin's haircut is awful. Awfully amazing, I agree. Although I wish we could see like his face and stuff, but oh well. I guess he just doesn't have any like mouth movement when he chats. All right, let's drop off some stuff, bro. So we need, uh, if we're gonna make another short sword, we need more sulfur. So we gotta buy what two more of those, right? We found one, and we need more ingots. We got those. That's good. We're ready to go there. Let's drop some of the stuff we don't need for a bit. Arrows we'll keep. Don't need a hatchet. We'll make another bow and arrow. Tilda's key could be an item for later. I don't know. Repair kits. Don't stack, unfortunately. We'll put some stuff in the community chest. I gotta keep wood on me. What's the scroll of knowledge for anyway? This one contains ancient knowledge. Like I don't I don't know of a way to use that. Is there a way to you Chad, is it do you guys know of any way to use the scroll of knowledge? Just read it, YouTuber. Yeah, I got it. But how do I read it? How would I do that? Bum bum bum. Left click. I wish. All right, we'll try in a minute. Oh, I have apples. Nice. You must be literate. Oh, we got a lot of bottles now that we can sell off. I guess that's a good way to make money back. And then buy green potions, which are pretty important. There's actually like a lucrative business of like dr drinking the potions. I don't think we can actually sell. I don't even really think I need these yellow ones. Let's go see if we can sell these to the trader. Because we got plenty of stamina. That doesn't seem to be a problem. Oh, he's over, uh, oh, over here. Hello. Hello. So he is buying those for 15. Okay. I'd rather buy another green. Stamina regen is pretty good. Is he selling wine? No. Oh, yes, he is. Nice. Okay, we need to buy two more sulfur. Nice. And then that means we can buy a lot more flour and stuff. 
Okay, we'll keep the food for us. Alright, time to craft a bow. Dude, wait till we can craft a longbow. Oh, that's gonna be awesome. And let's get our stamina and stats up again. Bring some water. I feel like the, the stat disappears when you're like over halfway, but then you never see it again. Like if you drink, like if if you need, if your stats drop to 50%, it like gives you a warning, like you're halfway on your water, but then when you drink it, and like if you get to 51%, it disappears, and it's like, you never know how much more you should drink. Right, let's go drop some stuff off, get organized. So in order to use the thing of knowledge, you put it in your hotbar and then press 1 and then he looks like he ate it. Damn it, I went up 7 levels. I could have fought that bear with even higher health. Oh well. Okay, so now we got a lot more health dam- Wow, health in this game is really hard to come by, so we gotta- I think we should go down the health line. But that's going to cost a lot more points we don't have. We need one, two, so that's three, five. Well, we're close to leveling up again. Aren't we? Yeah, we're close. Okay, so let's see. So we need to make a short sword. What was... How many ingots did we need for that again, chat? Was it five? What? Nine, nine, nine. Tw Twenty-one. Gotcha. Chat, chat, chat. Chat, chatly. You go to your room. Okay, so it's three sulfur, five wood, and five iron ingots, I think, or three. One of the two. Okay, let's make a another short sword at the... At the guy. And we'll eat a couple apples. Salutations, brother. Yo! Rosh Martinez, thank you very much for the $49.99 with a big O animated lemon. Great. <laughs> Those lemons freak me out, man. But uh, thank you very much for the big O crazy support. And that is cool, though, to see some new animations. Thank goodness. Thanks, man, for the support. Three sulfur, five iron ingots, and five wood gets us a short sword. Good. Let's just make one. Good. Alright, we can return to Tuck, but let's go ahead and uh, drop into the... Um, drop in the house to save. Lots of food, lots of drink. I guess the only thing we can... The only other thing we can build at the moment is, like, the additional fireplace... But that's just for turning meat into meals, which we have to go out. Like, the only. We'd have to go out deer hunting. But it's like, at this point, we may as well just sell bottles to the trader and then just buy flour and then, like, mix salt and some other things together to make bread. This looks amazing when it's expected to release. Well, it seems to be out now on, uh, like, an early playlist. So if you want to try it out. Uh, just search for Robin Hood Sherwood Builders in the uh, in the, the old Steam. 
Okay, so we can make two more bread. We have more wine. I should just sell all this mead and wine. Like, it seems to just be better to sell mead and wine for green potion for a better... Like, we could drink mead, but, like, it has a negative effect of negative thirst. So just sell those for booty, I guess. All right, let's save, and then we'll go to the trader. Raptoria 8. Dude, I'm having a great time with this. Chat, one's in the chat if you're having a great time watching this. And let me know where you're all watching from, too. Or give me both. If you're having a good time. Let me know. Okay, let's sell. Good business to you. Hey, okay, bro, I'm gonna sell you my mead. Mead sells for ooh, quite a bit. Oh, good. I'd rather have cash. Well, right, let's chat with Tuck. Go do this ambush. Oh, great! You are back with the weapons already. And we still have time to get to the hiding spot near Fourth Dow before the convoy. I will pass those weapons to the people and tell them to move. Meet them there. Just go to the hiding spot, Robin. I will handle everything else. Our companions will be waiting. Good, good. Man, we need to eat again? Man. That's the thing, is that, like, I want to know. There. Okay. What do we got for skills? Do we skill up at all? Nope. Okay. I'll save one more time. How did the bear hunt go? Oh. Um, no comment. It was, uh... It was interesting. You guys are watching from California. Lots of ones in chat. California. Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce that city name. Holy crap. And now we gotta go to Westford? Oh, fourth down. Okay. Rendezvous with your companions. Okay. Time to go meet with the boys. AT rifle. Seems like going to these points of interest, though, really has a good payoff. Like, if we go to a guard tower, we get a knowledge scroll. If we find an enemy camp, we just, like, get a bunch of booty. You want to join my band of merry men? You guys can be uh, as merry as you want in the chat. Especially with Santa emotes. Yeah, the bear fight turned into... I had to beat him with a big brain because it, it was an interesting fight. There's got to be a lot of points of interest around here. But... <sighs> we'll try to stay away from Devil's Den because... Killing those guys will only give us like two coin. And uh, we already looted their base so it's kind of pointless. So we'll go back this way instead. That so means cheese sauce was... Yeah, I cheesed a little bit, to be honest. I tried to fight him legit, but then when I, like, pulled out to heal, it was like... Oh, man. Like, the fight was a little... It's a, It was a little... Like, it wasn't that smooth, cool boss battle that you get in, like, Assassin's Creed or Ghost of Tsushima or something like that, but... Yeah, it's still fine. I beat it my own way and had a good time. And that's what matters most, chat. Smiley.
Oh, what? Oh, you guys here from uh, Devil's Den? No, not interested. I was trying to avoid those guys. Run away. Actually, there's a sleeping spot here. Let's go sleep here just in case we die to death. This game doesn't have an auto-save, so it's a good idea to save at every single opportunity. Once in chat, if you ever died in a game, and your last auto-save was like two bosses ago or an hour ago, and you had to spend like all that time getting back to where you were. Ugh. It's no problem like saving before a boss or something and like getting your ass handed to you by the boss 30 times, but lulling back, like if you died to the boss the first time and have to go back like a, an hour, like I would rather get stuck on a boss and fight the boss for an hour than beat the boss like on the second try, but like have to run back after forgetting a save or having a game where it like has a weird auto save. Oh my god. Some of those games where it's like, what? There wasn't like a... Like sometimes I'll go into a boss battle just like all casually just to see what it's all about to get a feel for it and then die. But then there'll be like a weird save like on the other side of the map or something and you're like, dude, what are you doing? Oh, damn, look at that. Pretty. Pretty. You know what I like? This game doesn't have a damn nighttime. It seems like it's always daytime. What's up, bro? Ooh, clever. Tree tipped over, so they're probably going to be coming from that way. This is some Red Dead Redemption ambush stuff right here. Oh, let me look around before I talk to that guy. Let's see if there's any looty booty. Uh, yeah, next weekend we'll do Icarus. The, yeah, they're changing, uh, oh, we can go on the tree. That's so cool. Yeah, Icarus next time will be in the uh, snow. Okay, I see the archer. Where's the swordsman I paid, damn it? I made a sword for a guy. Better not be you. I want another person. Like two people. I need two people. All right, well, let's go back up here. Brace yourselves, everyone. Robin is here. Should we set up an ambush for the convoy already? Yes. Yes. It's about time. Your name's Little Joe? Are you a rapper? Oh, God. Oh, get wrecked. Wait, how the hell? What? What? It was two seconds, boys. Oh, F that. Oh, where's the archer? No way, dude. Uh, it's a little unfair. What? They gave me one archer and a guy with a short sword to do this? There was no, like, no plan here? Who the hell's shooting at me? <laughs> their sh archer shot their own dude.
Wow. Snipe them from further? Yeah, but first I gotta get my health up. I was not expecting these guys to be this numerous, nor on me like chat on the like button. Dude, get this. Dude, Robin, drop the damn arc. Oh, dude. He won't drop the bow. He won't unequip the bow. Oh my god, what was that, Robin? What the hell? Wow, the fact that I didn't die. Holy crap. Guys, calm down. It's about time. I can't. I can't. I could not unequip the damn. Why can't I unequip the bow? That's why I get. That's T. That's why I told you guys. Oh, thank God they saved a checkpoint. That's why I said leave slot one unequipped. But what the hell? Did I have anything in slot one? Like you get. That's what you got to do. You got to kite. Holy crap! That that was. That far quad is right. Hell was that? Here's the bow. One. Bow. One. Dude, who was... Who the hell were they transporting? KFC secret recipe? What the hell was that? Oh my god. Ooh, need bear traps in the game. That'd be cool. Okay, well, now we know what we're, at, what we're in for. By the way, the guy we gave a short sword to was like dead in a half second. Like, he was, he, he was worthless. And the archer was... About just as bad. Oh well, I'll beat this mission before Jack gets to a thousand likes, though. Racist. Yes. It's yes. About time. This is a sweet ambush, though. Oh. What, bro? I'm I'm being Robin Hood here, bro. Oh, nice job, dude. Sorry to cut in like that. There we go. First try. It's about time. He had aim assist, obviously clear uh, cheating. <laughs> All right, that was much better that time. Dude, those guys got absolutely destroyed that time. All right, so just sh shoot right away. Like, shoot right away. Give as much time as possible, but those dudes are going to be on you, like, immediately. Okay, I'm having a good time, though. I'm having a good time. That, that, that matters a lot. I like this. We're going to shoot the guy on the cart right away. Take out the two nerds following him, and we should be good. Brace. Yes, it's about time. Shoot him, bro. Shoot him. Actually, 
Actually, let me take all these archers. These guys are a pain in the ass. There we go. First try, guys. First try. <laughs> yeah, those arrows travel really fast. Those archers are cool. Go for the archers. Bradford, is that you? You ready for our live stream today? Come on. Alex? How lucky we are to be freed by Robin himself. Please, Robin, if you have the men and arms to spare, save the rest of us too. The other peasants are kept in the knight's castle, and God knows what those knights are going to do to them. John Bean? Alright, let's run back and grab that. That wasn't actually that bad. When you do that mission, just shoot shoot the guy on the horse right away and then try to take out one dude with the archer and then just try to cheese everybody else with the, uh, the old chivalry tactic. Just keep circling. Miss that sword swing. Okay, we probably got to go back to Friar Tuck again. They want me to go to the castle? You got to be kidding me. Wait, there's not even a quest here. Getting that health, though. Yeah. Much more increase. Very increase, much health. Nice. It's cool how it does a percentage, too, rather than a certain number of hit points. So that way, if you've got, like, a massive health bar, you don't have to carry, like, 30 of those. Hey, we got silver ore now, too. Nice. Now we can make a long sword. Hopefully we didn't miss anything else. So what's our next quest? Uh, reach the castle grounds. It's about time to weed out the knights that occupy the castle and enslave innocent peace, uh, people. I shall strike at the very heart of their nest. What? This is uh, pretty ambitious, dude. You, <laughs> you haven't done much else. There's still a lot of territory to clear out. He's being pretty ambitious. Well, I'm going to go back and save then, just in case we don't find another bed. Okay, I like the scenes in this game, though. They've created, like, these little... Scenes of like previous combat and unrest and such. Who are you? Okay, yeah, let's get on that road. Be a long run. Good horsey. Seems like we can ride the horses. I, I don't know how that works, so I don't know if that's like fast travel between villages or if we can actually ride a horse. Seems like it'd be possible to ride a horse though, you just gotta keep on the on the roads. Amen, brother. Like 
couple enemies up here. Or friendlies? These are stables. Chad, are you that bored that you're talking about petroleum reserves? Playing a game about being Robin Hood. Speaking of Robin. Oops, that accidentally ended up in my inventory, darn. I don't understand, are, are all these horses sick? They all sound horse, but no ride horse. Also, I don't know why there's lockpicks in the game. Well, I guess maybe we could have gotten into that one lady's chest with a lockpick. The, um, Mir Miriam's, uh, whatever chest she had at her house, which was not really filled with anything interesting. Nice house, but, uh, yeah. Gotta go this way. Quit horsing around? Sorry. Alright, let's get back in the saddle and get out of here. What are these people for, anyway? Oh, okay. Oh, it's fast travel for money? Or I'd rather walk. Oh, yeah, so it is fast travel. It's fast travel. Uh, Laysai. Oh, there's a sleeping spot over here. Ooh, there's just raw meat sitting around. Nice. An arrow sitting around? Damn, you really gotta pay attention in this game. There's ton we probably miss tons of stuff that people will timestamp and comment aggressively how upset they are. But Ooh, that gets me excited to know there's tons of stuff. Like a chest over there. The frames are dropping in this one area, but that's not too big of a deal. Oops, finger slipped. Some crunk juice. Okay, we'll save. Oh, this one castle. Cape's kind of weird. Yeah, it's just a play test. They can shorten that up. It's a little. It's a little long. Yeah. Or maybe it's historically accurate, I don't know. Dude, one, one FPS. Oh, the game's rendering in the castle. Wait, where's the castle? Oh, this is the Ravenwood Outpost. Great. That looks to be a guy ready to do some combat. Nope, we're not going over there. Alright, we're gonna go to left. Yeah, I'm, I'm being a loot goblin right now. Not so much for trying to avoid the fun. What the hell? There were towers there? <laughs> well, I didn't know. Any more archers? Oh, third guy. I'm also out of food and water. Oops. No! 
ninja hood. Oh. Damn. What the hell? Oh, I must be ahead of HR. Doing layoffs with all those heads rolling. Well, well. Ooh, that was cool. Yeah, regret not going back to the trader to buy a bunch of green. I guess we could, like, fast travel back there. Yeah, the fire looks a little weird. This area is a little... Not complete. It loaded in real weird. They'll buff it out. You know, wait. Do I have enough uh, silver to make a long sword? Maybe, maybe we should go back. Can't get in the towers. Oh, that looks badass. That looks really cool. Okay. drink. I wonder if you use food at night when you sleep. Like if you go if you go to bed in the game. Do you need to, uh... Wait, didn't we pick up a ton of raw meat? Didn't I pick up, like, three or four of those? I thought we picked up, like, at least three raw meat at that camp. Hmm. Oh, dude, this whole forest, dude. Has been lit on fire. A huge battle went on here, or they lit it all on fire to drive people out, or. Uh oh. I haven't seen this much smoke since college dorms.
Damn. Poppy with the five. Wow, this epic and looks amazing. Where the hell did that third guy go? Thanks, dude, for the five. Damn, this area looks badass, dude. Oh. Yep. Yep, Comcast HQ. Yep, we're at Comcast headquarters. resting spot there. Yeah, let's just take a little nap in the Comcast Murder Forest. Brought to you by EA. Saving actually, uh, oh, that actually heals us up. Well, that's good to know. Let's go down this other road, rather than going in through the front door. Wait. Oh, we're so close to getting more skill points. Alright, road of despair or obvious sideway to get in easier. Well, we've all played Super Mario World before, we know how this, we know how this plays out. Dude, this this went from like like a cool little open world adventure game to just like the eeriest, weirdest game. This reminds me of uh, Darkwood. Let's try to go to the castle wall. Damn, I wish I would have gone back and like made that long sword now. I find some sort of a stable, I definitely want to do that.
Damn you, Comcast. This is the last time you throttle my ass. in there. Yep, they're on patrol. How you doing? <sighs> well, that sucks. Oh, what the? Oh, now it's on. cheated. I tried to cheat first. That certainly was a lot of it, yeah. Yeah, that's a lot of cheese. Ooh, prison key. Maybe the gamer won't notice me if if I look at the wall. Ooh, also increases your health. Damn, cooked meat is super powerful, but you gotta, like, have a fuel with you. Or go hunting. Oh, that guy was AFK? Oh, damn. Raptor's a cheater. Dude was AFK, not very honorable. Who are you? I don't even know why I'm here for you. Bye. Oh, you're with an indie developer? Oh, come what this way. Day. I owe my life to you, mate. Say... Are you in need of a henchman? Let me just grab one of the guard's swords and help you out. Uh, wasn't this guy's name Little Joe before we selected him? Now he's Thomas, and he also looked like he's 40 rather than, like, 19. The more the merrier, isn't it? Come along. 
Okay, once in chat if you think this dude's gonna die before we leave the castle. Who is their interior decorator, by the way? Imagine them meeting that, smor that, that morning. Okay, uh, Greg, gonna need you to go p uh, pull some spinal cords and rib cages out and uh, set those ablaze. Uh, a couple of them are needed in the west hallway. Uh, a couple skulls, too. If you could find an infinite source of fire, it'd be great. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, spinal cords, uh, rib cages will do. Um, let's make sure they're you know cleaned out and whatnot. Uh, maybe three more skulls at the top, just to be sure, you know. try. Ah, oh, crap. What the hell? Oh, shit. your own homie Come along. you shot your own dude oh damn it <laughs> well these guys are like tough level too they shot shot his own homie oh yeah wait where's the checkpoint oh okay oh my god dude where'd all those guys come from the AI is too dumb to leave via the tree route we could have gotten out of there without going through mur murder hell Oh my god. Right, luckily we know the secret way around. We should cook some meat before we leave. Hold on guys, didn't I already fight you three? Well, it gives me XP, so... I should go back to the trader and get a bunch of like healing potions. But the best healing potion just seems to be making meat. Although I need one wood to cook the meat. Bro, there's literally a giant fire here already. could run back to here to go back to one of the traders. They don't even mark a trader in the game, which is weird. Now let's go buy some greens. Bum, bum, bum. Catch that head? Yeah, pretty close. Heads will roll. Dude, I love the whole aspect of the... Uh, of the castle though like it's like it looks like a morning with a bunch of like smoke and fire it's really cool I hope I don't have to fight people here again one of the things is that enemies continue to respawn at like yeah like right here like I don't want to fight these guys I want to go get a horse or whatever stop it
Did I burn down the fort? That wasn't me. That was chat. That was that was our Icarus. Uh, <laughs> that was us playing Icarus. Where would you like to go, Robin? Uh, there. Thanks, bro. I'm just gonna buy a bunch of green potions so we can actually get in there without any sort of big trouble. How's your day, sir? Actually, now that we're back, we might be able to make a long sword, too. We should have all the materials. Well, except for sulfur. Yeah, we should make that long sword. Actually, dying was a cool thing. We only need two silver ingots. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, yeah, perfect. Two silver or two wood. Screw the so short sword. Okay, so we just need five, five, and five. Chat, I'm excited. We'll get the better weapon. That's that's nice upgrade. We have to have five of these. Oh, I bought six. Oh, that's okay. Or I had one. I had one extra. That's fine. We will probably end up making more stuff anyway. Oh, you hold shift for half and control for one. What? That never worked before. Okay. Whatever. But now we have more salt, so we can make more bread. Woo! Okay, so we need five Woo! ingots. I should probably make some more meat. Meat. Meat's good for the uh, healing aspect. That's good for, like, a low-level heal. So meat's really good. You just gotta either A, find it, and then, like, some, you know... Do whatever it takes to cook it, or hunt, and then... Well, actually, we're going to have to make a fireplace here, but honestly, we can go to any of the... Most of the sleeping places have, like, a little area to make food. So, if we had raw meat with us, we could just do it that way. Also, it looks like people continuously eat if you put stuff in the village storage, so never put stuff in there unless you're going to build something, it looks like. I like doing it that way. Okay, so we got... Five wood, two silver ingots. Oh, dude, we're getting the long sword, baby. That's going to be sweet. Valheim meets Ostrev. Damn, that'd be cool. Not really much reason for combat in Ostrev, though. Okay, before we leave, let's... Uh, well, we'll snack up and stuff as we're leaving. Well, let's call this one longsword. So now that we died, we actually get a longsword. That's good. I was I just kind of continued on after we raided that uh, that little uh, tent thing. Looks like food and water do go down. It do go down. Meat. Give me that long sword, baby. Hoo -hoo. Wait, what? Shorts? Wait, what? Short sword, long sword. Two for short sword, three for long sword. Short sword, long sword. Yay, the long sword. <laughs> that probably does more damage overall. Speaking of damage. Ooh, we have more damage points to spend. 
lighter arrows. A lot of that's for gathering. What's up here? Slow mo. Oh, damage reduction. Health regen plus one. Ooh. Damage reduction. Oh, I don't have enough points for that. Oh, if I could go around the map and find more... Um, go around the map and find more knowledge scrolls, that would help out. Although we pretty much get as much by killing people, too. Hmm. Valheim? Yeah, we'll go back to Valheim sometime. I really wish we could actually... You know what would be nice is if we actually had like a... There's a little bit of base building to this, but I wish we could build like a lot more buildings. Like at this point, I want to be able to build like a... Like a hunter's po... I'm sure there's more to this, but... Like I've seen pig farms and... You know, grain farms and other, other types of farming. It would be cool if we could do a hunter, have somebody hunt, and then when we come back, there's like always meat inside the thing. And then we could either choose to cook it or... You know, like, maybe s different options. Maybe, like, do, s like, salt it or something like that. That'd be cool. Oh, was hilarious playing Breathage. Oh, that was a good game. I'm glad you guys enjoy all the games we play. Arcade Sim? I know. Alright, like let's go back to the estate. That was worth it. The fast travel's pretty nice. That's cool. Yeah, this does have a little Manor Lord's like look to it. Okay, well, let's go quickly sleep here. We could do a little deer hunting, but all these potions are just so much better. I give it. Oh god, one FPS. If the deer run around here, we can just kill them. And then cook right here, I think. No? Well, there's cooking spots around at that other place. Game looks nice. I agree. I want to stay away. Oh, we got to eat and drink. Five. Drink. Done. Eat now. I think the food and drink system could be a little well, a little overhaul on that one, but it's all good. Died on Timberborn here to watch for a bit. Oh, uh, yeah, Timberborn's a lot of fun. Yeah, if you die in that game, it certainly teach. The coolest thing is, you know, if you're in a survival game, especially city builder wise, and you die. The good thing about that is you can always think about like, okay, what like what happened? What can I do better? How do I improve? That kind of thing. There are lessons to be learned. Actually, finding those guys could could be good for XP. Now nah, we'll be fighting a lot of dudes already. Actually, let's test out the longsword. Hello. I'm not sure if that's any better at all. I think the models were accidentally reversed. I hope the damage was an accident. Oh, I hope the... Based... Oh, I should have... I should have... I should have compared the stats when I... When I had them both in my hands. Damn it. Well, we could actually go back and load that save. I'm curious to know. Oh, whatever. Here comes the final battle chat. Here we go. The final battle. Oh, 
Damn, that damage reduction upgrade we got is awesome. We can really take some hits now. These guys look like they're in a mosh pit. Stop twitching. There we go. Such a cool game. Uh, yeah, if they hit each other, it does do damage if an archer shoots them. If an archer shoots them, then they do damage, but it doesn't look like they're affected by melee. You cut them in half? How is that not an improvement? Well, the other sword could do that. That'll buff out? Oh yeah, it'll be fine. This frickin' forest dude is so... eerie, like you can see, dude... There needs to be a, a game where you do combat in like a forest like this. There needs to be a... Like just completely filled with ash and brush and haze. Where you can see a good distance, but it's just like... There should be like a post-apocalyptic planet that you can visit in one of those games. Alright chat, here we go, final battle. I stun locked? I think I'm I think I'm soft locked. Okay, I need to know if the longsword actually has a, uh, uh... YouTube live streams suck. Every 10 minutes I have to change my picture quality back to 720 from 144p. Yep, all part of their plan to push traffic towards YouTube shorts and claim to be incompetent. At least that's the, what we're suspecting. They do this a lot. Okay, so the base damage of the short sword is 30, so the longsword does do more damage, so that's good. Let's go back to do battle. All right, this time no no stun lock. Pinto blessed no stun lock. Yeah, the I should have I should have brought an axe. I brought a sword to a tree fight. Oh, did I not save there? Oh, I guess I didn't need to. I was just running. All right, let's swing far to the north, and then we'll save at that one little camp. It's all good, at least we didn't die. Maybe a little on the inside. So the longsword does... ...40. 
Damn it, I just drank one of those. Need all green. Need them all. Yeah, this should be the final, final, final TM, final battle TM. Supposed to eat and drink, let's do that. On the road again, final battle. Okay, final battle, part one, phase one. Chapter one, final battle, the beginning. Yeah, is block damage different too? Okay. We need to go, yeah, we're gonna swing west and then straight south. Or at least right for the uh, next rest stop. Uh, yeah, yeah I, blocking is not, I don't know, I'd rather dodge than block in this game, because there's no, it doesn't seem like there's a parry. Like, you know, in some games, when you get close to the enemy, blocking, you can do a little bit of damage, but there's also a chance to parry, which is fantastic, because then you can get in, you block damage and then do damage, which is exactly what you want to do. Take no damage, only issue damage. This part of the game gets a little laggy, but it's not too bad. We just swing that away. Final battle, part one of five. Any of you have a dream like this where you're late for the live stream because you didn't subscribe or turn on the notification bell? And you're just running through a forest of just like TikTok re uploads, YouTube shorts, people overreacting to uh, Fortnite and Roblox, and you're just like, ha ha ha! Where's an actual chill community to hang out with? The Discord link in the description, huh? And you just hear like echoing of, What's up guys, what's up, what's up guys, guys? And today's video, guys, guys, guys. Today's video, guys, guys. Today's video. And today's video, Robux, Robux, give it, Robux giveaway. Robux. No. No. Oh, we need to get that XP up. Some nerds. Pretty damn good sword. I see that guy skip leg day. All right, final battle, episode one, part one, subsection A begins. nothing thanks for being here welcome back ma'am <laughs> yeah yeah there's an echo of sub subscribe subscribe Woo. support the algorithm so it advertises or want something Woo. I am proud to say though this entire stream we have not dropped a single frame where's the bus good question where is that bus members bus should be coming around soon I guess it comes around every time there's a new member waiting at the stop so if anybody wants to click join tee <laughs> unplayable mother Got re we're repeating the same mistakes as before what happened to all the apples I had oh well If we get wounded, we'll eat meat. Are you kidding? Dude, what? Are you kidding me? For real, though? Wow, 
this tree sucks. Like, you gotta jump a little bit to get on it, but if you... If you jump wrong, it's stun lock. Oh, that's... It's gonna have to be patched. Alright, final battle, part two. Subsection B begins. Okay, this time I got stuck on the other side of it, so for those of you wondering, lol, he did it again. No, this was the other side of the tree. There's only three sides that I can go on. The left, the right, or correctly on the middle. Damn it. Defeated by a tree again? This is treason. What branch of the military was that tree in? Because I want him thrown out. Dishonorable discharge. I want him axed. That's it. Gone. Timber. Out of here. I want him to serve in an office with no lumber support. Backaches all the time. In a city called Hartwood or something. Garbage. Oh, there we go. We got somebody at the bus stop. The Tongue Dill 2. Thank you very much for becoming a raptor egg, dude. Appreciate the support. I could also just go in through the front door and, like, actually have, have combat, but we gotta fight our way out anyway, so it's like... Alright, chat. It's funny how, like, the first time I did it perfectly, didn't, didn't know that there was a problem, then the other time when I did it, it was like, oh... First guy's on the stairs. Wait, that's not the right way. Yeah, this is the way I went last time. How could there even be music? Wait, how is there... Wait, is there somebody behind me? Oh, hi. Half the man he used to be. Alright, sir, you're up next. Welcome to the party. First time, okay? Alright, guys. We're in the final enemy castle. Oh, who could that be? Don't tell me your name is Thomas. Is that right, little Joe? Could that possibly be your name? What a day! That's what I, I thought. I owe my life to you, mate. Say, are you in need of a henchman? Let me just grab one of the guard's swords and help you out. Wait, didn't... Wait a minute, you guys remember, what was the name of the... Robin Hood movie where he was a fox or whatever it was a Disney movie what the hell was his friend's name didn't he have a bear for a friend his name wasn't Thomas was it the more the merrier isn't it this doesn't look like Come a city along. builder game well there's city building element well watch the stream no not Friar Tuck that was another guy No, Little John's the rapper. What? Wait, they named him Little Joe. <laughs> but it's actually Little John, but his name is actually Thomas. Okay. That's usually how these rapper names work anyway. Alright, first, first try, final battle. Here we go. 
And I would eat, but we're gonna save the, uh... I'm gonna save one of these bottles for an emergency, so four. And we'll eat the meat if we need to. This idiot's gonna get us spotted, because he's just walking around. So we're supposed to go there? But actually, we should go down here. Don't you die, little Joe, bro. Oh, God. Shoot these guys, please? Damn. <sighs> Human meat. Now we get the checkpoint. Reach the main hall. I already get. I already got. Okay. I don't know how to get there. No. I guess we'll just follow the uh, burning rib cages. That's like some of you people who can't stand uh, spicy foods. Angelique upgrading to a raptor hatchling. Thank you very much for the big O upgrade. Yeah, we're close to having enough points. Not yet. Did I already go? Seems like the only way in. At least we have our friend. Yeah. No. What the? F Was this D Day? Castle prison key, castle gate key. Uh, nah, we'll do it later. Boy, I wonder where the castle gate could be. Hmm, I wonder. I wonder. Oh, we can't take any of this for food? Oh. Dude, there's a thing of apples right there. And potatoes. Bruh. hear what he said? Whoa. No, I didn't see an option to make a shield yet in the game. He 
These guys mostly carry a shield to uh, block arrows. Oh, damn. There's no need to lose your head. Getting a crunk, brother. Labat blue. Healing them wounds. Labat wounds. Oh, we can actually get more water here. Yeah, we don't need them. We'll fill most of them. Oh, this is gonna take forever. It's gonna be taking as long as it takes to click or tap that like button. Just saying. Robin Hood and Little John walking through the forest. Day. I'm sure there's more loot we walked past. This castle's huge, though. Uh, reach the main hall. Well, we came through here. I think I'm gonna have to watch that movie again. What is the name of that movie, anyway? Is this called Robin Disney's Robin Hood, or has it got a different name to it? Oh, an ambush. Great. Oh, arrows don't affect these guys worth a damn. Shoot him, bro. Nice job. Kid's a good shot. Damn, are you sure you're not Robin Hood? It's called Disney's Robin Hood. All I remember about that is, like, I think there's one of the vultures who's got a crossbow named Betsy, and it's like, oh, Betsy! And they, whatever the sheriff of Nottingham is, I think he's like a, like a overweight raccoon or something like that, or whatever the hell he is, a badger, I don't know. But he's just like, you keep, now you keep, Lester, you keep that pointing away from me right over there. <laughs> oh. When two pimps meet in combat, the greater pimp has the right of way. Oh, damn. Sheriff of Nottingham, could you calm down, sir? Kid, could you get shooting? Take care of the other one. Rebuilding Stam. Rebuilding Stam. Oh, damn. Oh, -ho -ho. sweet attack, bro. I miss Mr. Lionheart. Got his ass first try, brother. Amen, brother. Okay. Am 
my one follower. This is going better than my YouTube channel. This is good. That new remix. Damn, is this the party bus music from Gas Station Simulator? I, I can hear the party bus pulling up right now in chat. Lock door. Did I miss a key? Or maybe I go upstairs? Damn, this place has fallen into disarray, damn. Maid Marion. Is that you, Robin? It really is. I cannot believe my eyes. Oh, thank God in the heavens above! You were supposed to be out getting herbs, which I thought, you know, was illegal at these times. Oh, those herbs. Yeah, no, we got a lot of talking to do, young lady. You're not hurt, are you? We need to get out of here before anything worse happens. Oh, I got a babysitter. Black again. Henry's reign oh. is over, and the kidnapped Lady Miriam has been rescued. When this news reaches the ears of the Sheriff of Nottingham, the forests of Sherwood will have to face an evil they have never known before. Oh, it's not over, baby. It's not over. That was just the beginning. Oh. Well, thank you, dude, for your time. Appreciate that one. What game is this? Is this Grand Theft Auto San Andreas? Judging by the text, it's GTA. I don't have time to read. Available now. Um. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so this was just a play test. So I, what I would imagine is that they'll probably add a lot more missions before that mission do a lot of polish, but that's just the intro where, like, once you rescue uh, Maid Miriam, there's going to be, like, they're going to find out that you were doing stuff, and, like, the whole army is going to descend upon you, and it's going to be, like, an even bigger fight. That was just, like, you know, the kind of, like, the, literally, like, the prologue. Like, the beginning mission to Metal Gear Solid 3, you know, when you go in to rescue uh, Sokolov, and then the game really doesn't begin until you go back in again. Cool. All right, guys. Well, that is it for today. Thank you very much for watching for the play test for Robin Hood Sherwood Builders, the alpha demo. That was a four-hour demo. Damn. That was that was pretty impressive. Uh, a little bit less of a city, city builder than I thought, but they definitely show a lot of options for building up a giant army that way. But again, this is just a play test, so damn. Cool stuff. Thank you guys for being here. Thanks for all the big O super chats. Welcome to all the new members. Jump on the Discord for giveaways and more. And I'll see you all tomorrow for more video games. Thanks again for the support. See you guys for more city builders, more combat, and more Robin Hood Sherwood builders coming soon. Thanks, guys. See you later.